welcome to the midweek show. We're at London Heathrow, we're back at the paddock, and we've got some winning arrivals. Oh, hurry up. Oh, come on, son. <laughs> see, 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 see. Watch all the flappy bits on the wings, sir. Easy. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! <laughs> I tell ya. I tell ya. <laughs> tell you what I did see just now. Ethiopian triple seven. Um, obviously being towed to remote staff. Anyway, whatever. Nice! Morning everybody, I hope you're doing well. Hey, look at this. Can I just give a shout out to, uh, and I don't know if there is anybody around, but um, <laughs> whoever cut these, uh, pruned these trees to the max. I mean, we're talking about a max prune here. Um, <laughs> max pruning. Um, of course they were in full leaf before, but uh, okay, so here we go, another 767. See the way they're crabbing, folks. I say crabbing because they're sideways, almost. I mean, we say they're sideways, but they're... Ooh! This one with Delta. 767-300 with Delta. Boss! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, I think it's going to be a good day, and it's not even really that windy. I mean, the crazy thing is that in terms of winds, um, it's always a lot windier at different at different layers, um, friction layers, I think they're called, uh, but different uh, at different altitudes. So you could go up, um, you could go up 50 feet, and and you've got considerably much higher winds than you do uh, down here on the ground. There you go, there's your approach right there. So now that, you can quite clearly see to your left that, that nose of that aircraft should be pointing uh, a lot straighter to the left. But obviously, with the wind approaching from the southwest, uh, he or she is having to point their aircraft into the wind in order to maintain that uh, straight approach. Thin air. A lot, a lot more. Uh, Pleasing to the ear, some would say, um, which is a bit unfortunate, but... Uh... Oh, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Of course, you're, uh, you're hoping as a pilot, I'm guessing, uh, you're hoping that there is no sudden gust of wind as you're uh, sort of like at that 50 foot mark or even lower. Uh, it can really catch you out last second, especially when you've got um, buildings uh, acting as, uh, you know, um, obstructions, so the air can whistle over those, uh, whistle over those um, hangars and uh, create all sorts of turbulent conditions. So now they're descending through the friction layer. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on to your hatch, boy. And we are in the uh, paddock, folks. Very warm welcome. Scratching post is in use. <laughs> Sometimes refer to these as tiddlers. Did do right at the beginning when I started Big Jet TV. Single aisle jet. Oh, it's a 
little bit high then. <laughs> you feel that as a passenger. Um, but yeah, listen, I, I just want to say if there's anybody out there and I know that a lot of people watch this show from the local area. Um, I don't know who would be responsible for this, whether it would be lo the local um, uh, 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 council um, who would obviously prune these trees, but these are the only ones on this, on this strip here that have been pruned. Um, so for what reason, we don't know. But Jilly did mention yesterday, maybe it's something to do with the, the, um, uh, uh, Her Majesty's funeral procession. However, um, blimey, he's gone up quick. Um, I, I would have said that had that been the case, then the other uh, the other trees. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know really. Anyway, here we go. Dreamliner. Okay, now what you're looking for, folks, is the on the wings, on the wings of love up in the above the sky. Flight surfaces. No, it wouldn't be Heathrow. It's not Heathrow. So look at the ailerons at the end of the wing there. See the ailerons at the end of the wing working alongside the uh, the flapperons as well. Oh, I tell ya, I tell ya. Get those speed brakes up as soon as possible, or ground spoilers, as they are otherwise known. Um, yeah, you need to get those things up quick. Get that thing stopped. As so how are we all doing? How's your week going, folks? It's, uh, it's Wednesday. It's 5.30. Oh, what's that? <laughs> right, okay, I can come to some comments now. Um, okay, what's my best route in here in terms of comments let's just have a little look here uh, is it good to do that oh i do wish people would stop spamming um fake sort of like you know um you know clickbait type videos plane crash how did he survive he should have pulled up and it's just <laughs> I mean, how can you call a how can you call a channel plane crash? Really? Okay, the Neo a little bit harder to control because of its big engines. Here we go. We got fast as going. And the other, uh, the other thing that we need to figure it in into this factor into this whole equation with the windy landings is that whichever direction the wind is coming from, generally the uh, the pilot will land the aircraft uh, that side. So left side for today, um, you'll see them tip the left wing. Uh, Lastminute.com. So we now have a much clearer view as much as we can do. You can see more or less the whole of Concord now as opposed to before where there was just um, bushes and trees and things like that. Save that one. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying, Governor?
Yeah, on your general, on your general homepage, not on our page, but on the general. I have, I've, I've, yeah. Normally, normally I open it. There it is, straight away. But I'm on my premium. I'm just on premium. I'm just on. Yeah. All. Oh, I'm on all. Always does, always does, always does. That's why I'm asking you. Okay, 3.30. Well, that may be the reason why it's not, you know, people ain't seeing it, mate. Come on, Sam, bring it in. Virgin. No, it's not. It's Iberia. Iberia just taking delivery of the 500. Can you believe it, folks? 500 A350s already uh, delivered by Airbus. Um, of course, they've got a massive backlog as well. Um, the demand has just shot up, so obviously, you know. Oh, I wonder where that went was. Mac Millie, welcome back. Oh. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, Hodgie saying that apparently uh, we've got two Delta A330 Neos, the A339, um, which is the, um, the new variant of that aircraft there. Um, a completely new wing on it. And a uh, funky new um, blended wing tip, as well as, of course, the Trent 7000 engine, which is an upgraded version of that Trent 700. Uh, along with obviously avionics and all that kind of stuff. Wow, this guy's really pitching it into the wind here, look. Congratulations, Andy. Going to be working with Donata Airside at London Heathrow from when? Thursday, did you say? Oh, truck, truck! Oh, hold on. Yeah! He waited, he waited. Wait for it, wait for it. Nicely done. Um, yeah, congratulations, Andy. From Tuesday, uh, going to be working with Donata Airside. To a lot of people, that's like, uh, uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. What, what are you talking about? Well, he means that basically Donata are handling agents and uh, one of the biggest handling agents in the world. And he will be uh, airside uh, driving or whatever he will be doing. I don't know initially, but um, a dream come true for a lot of people, folks, working airside at a big, busy airport like this, international airport. Um, if, you, and if you love planes, uh, then you're in your element, really. Which is why I did um, aircraft cleaning services at London Gatwick when I was a teenager. Oh, he's a... Opueda, uh, I'm gonna just say Opueda. Uh, good day to you and welcome back. Um, Horg, uh, Jorg uh, Wietok is also a returning member. Welcome back. Um, I'm at work, can't watch, have lots of fun. All Sky saying, Sky's at work, sneaking in a quick, uh, a quick, message just to say that they can't uh, they can't watch because they're at work but obviously maybe sneaked off to the to the ablutions <laughs> a little bit of blue sky um, off in the distance there we are expecting the uh, conditions to worsen as the day goes on. 
but we'll just have to see. You wouldn't believe these guys caused me absolute mayhem when I uh, when I turned up. There's a couple down there having a little cleaning each other. They're best of mates, those two. And that was the one that was doing all the zoomies earlier on. He's running around like an idiot. Here we go. Looks like Lufthansa. Another A321 Neo, I'm saying. Just because I, I'm just looking at the length of her. Is this a 321? Oh. Oh, it's Aer Lingus, is it? Oh, oh it's Lingus, is it? Oh, okay. Just from the front end. This is their new one, isn't it? Is this a 321? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Of course, the other one's a 320 now, right? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, truck, 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 truck. And another one. Oh! See, once they land, they become a vehicle, don't they? So, you know, it's like uh, you're controlling an aeroplane right the way down through the whole descent. Um, as soon as it touches down. Yeah, they're not moose. Oh, hello, hello, hello. This guy's a little bit off track. Come on, son, pull it back. Those lights are really playing with my focus, man. It's a max, it's a max. Look at the speed he's coming at. Go on, son! Special independence livery. Oh yeah. Oh. Oi! Oi! I thought he had it then, but uh, that's what we're talking about. That little slight gust of wind, the last, very last few feet before they touch down. Uh, they are never safe until, well, they're always safe, don't get me wrong, but they're never, so it's never a give, a, a done deal until they're, you know, literally on the ground. You're gonna roll around. I'm gonna roll around, son. Oh, no. Little tail, little tail, scared, scared, scared. Well, this is probably a run up, isn't it? Look at that 380, just uh, look at that, man. when he drops that undercarriage. When they drop that undercarriage, uh, as you can appreciate, it's like, um, it's like throwing all your bags of shopping out the window in your car um, and trying to hold on to them. It's um, drag inducing. So anything that sort of like affects the airflow of the aircraft um, or affects the the normal aerodynamics um, will of course in, uh, uh, um, create drag and therefore uh, make the aircraft a lot more sort of like unstable although it is completely stable let's be honest um, but it just means that you've got um, more to deal with Intense those lights. Another air linker. Wow. These guys are very used to landing, especially at Dublin, 
in high winds. So uh, it doesn't matter though, even if you are a high wind landing specialist, it doesn't matter. Um, last second wind gusts can catch even the most seasoned pilot. Okay, looks like, is this Qatar? I think it is Qatar, isn't it? Stephen Remy has very kindly donated and gifted five Big Jet TV memberships. Uh, Barbara P. Sterling loves Joe's commentary. Very kindly, Barbara. Very much. <laughs> so here we go. Now listen out for all the um, the engines being manipulated by the uh, from the throttles. Listen to this. Outboard ailerons, folks. Look at them. Look at them. The outside of the wing. Look at the end of the wing. Oh, wow. Oh, very smooth ish, kind of. Big rudder input there, man. That's the pilot left and right. Just little, little tiny inputs of right hand rudder there with his feet or her feet. That was a very interesting touchdown, wasn't it? Because the back set came down and then the front set came down. Normally you get a, a complete equal, um, amount of, uh, of, of tire smoke from the touchdowns. But um, yeah, that was quite interesting. See the uh, outboard ailerons are all in the upward position there, being used as, um, ground spoilers as well. Spoilers meaning the uh, spoiling the air and um, slowing the aircraft down. That inboard uh, reverses on the A380 as well as the brakes, of course. Huge amount of, um, of braking power on the A380. In fact, to be honest with you, I'd, 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 I'd go as far as to say that the, um, the A380 has uh, as much braking power as it does in terms of the reverses. Jan Kapunkt is a new member. Welcome, Jan. Good day, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Qatar Airways' biggest mistake right there, EGPX saying. Well, that's one person's opinion, uh, EGPX. Uh, and that was the, um, and, and that may have just been a propaganda thing more than anything else. I, I, don't, I don't know if, um, I don't know if that is the fact. I think it might be just because of their relationship with Airbus that they maybe made that statement. He made that statement. Just one person making a statement um, doesn't mean that it reflects the entire uh, company's feelings towards the A380. Personally, I think it's a good thing that they've made that they've kept them going. Great to see so many A380s in this in the skies now. I mean, let's face it. At the end of the day, if it wasn't for the A380, we wouldn't have any um, four-engine jets to uh, to um, to view. Well, especially here at Heathrow, obviously at uh, Frankfurt. Don't forget, folks, that we are going to be at Frankfurt this coming Sunday, 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 Sunday for our um, weekend show. We're going to be at Frankfurt where we're gonna see multiple 747, both Dash 8 and 400, uh, as well as A340-300s, uh, maybe uh, an A340-600 maybe an a 3600 with Lufthansa, as well as all the other uh, regular carriers there. Um, so looking forward to that. We will be doing a two hour free view as, we, uh, as is now our, our standard um, system. On a members show, we will be doing two hours free view, but the rest of it is all for our members and member only chat on the free view segment as well. Ken B got his second strike today. There you go. Creeping up there, Ken.
Rav H, no better place than the paddock for crosswind landings. Rohit, good morning everybody. Big shout out to Rupert if he's watching. Uh, also, folks, just a bit of an update for, uh, well, next Saturday, it is still, as far as we know, it's still planned for uh, Virgin's A339 uh, being delivered here at London Heathrow uh, from Toulouse. We are going to be in two places at once. How does he do that? Well, we have, um, we have got a, um, a fantastic uh, operator. Uh, slash live streamer who's going to be uh, uh, helping us out here at London Heathrow. We're going to be live from Toulouse with me filming the um, the preparation and uh, of course the uh, pushback start, taxi and departure of the um, the new Virgin 339. Uh, then we'll be crossing over to our uh, our man on the ground here at London Heathrow. Used to be, used to be. Yeah, that wind's quite tasty. Doesn't matter whether whether there's clouds or not. Oh! It's always that feeling of sort of like, you know, rapid sort of like descent. Dream is dream. Nipping his back there. Oh, yeah, 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 Head and shoulders livery. Yeah, a man on the ground's gonna be Rupert, by the way, folks. Quite a few people. No, impossible. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, live streaming technology is way off at the moment to be able for us to be able to uh, stream on board an aircraft. Very smooth from our Canadian friends there. Well, I say Canadian, it could be a... Uh... Be any nationality. Um, airlines employing any nationality of pilot doesn't matter about your nationality. Just it's all about your skills. Jerry G uh, is a new member. Casey May 4 is a new member. Welcome all our new members. Um, hope you're doing well today, everybody. Hope your week's going well. Boeing 777. Looks like a five door. Yeah, great shame that um, I saw that. Yeah, nicely done. I saw that Spitfire, Jilly, that uh, 
that that fella had built, that kit from Australia. <laughs> he could have got someone with a little bit of a steadier hand to film it, couldn't he? The inaugural departure. I think it might have been some someone with a very, very shaky hand, unfortunately. Um, Randy Bushbaum. Good morning. 1.26 a.m. here in California. Good day to you. Sleep is overrated, he's saying. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. When this kind of stuff's going on, that's for sure. God bless you. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to bring the... Uh, Jerry Each, uh, I've been watching the streams from Anchorage. Wow, Jerry's been watching the streams from Anchorage. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, fair play, Chicky. Thank you. That's brilliant. Spreading the love. Virgin Atlantic A33. So over time, these aircraft will be sent back to their lease companies, respective lease companies. See those um, clamshell style reversers that you can see coming out there. Pushing everything forward. Safran make those. Big manufacturer Safran are uh, in there. Oh. Go on, Sad. His mate's going up. <laughs> <laughs> it's Zoomies time. <laughs> yeah, boy. It's the first lap. <laughs> Second lap coming up. Ah, fluffy tail. Right, let's get this phone round here, I think. Uh, so that I can read your comments out. Sorry, folks. Yeah, but you might not have been listening. Very nice, very nice. Of course, last time we came here, looking, uh, the Russians were still coming in, weren't they? Oh, that's very nice. Russ CT has gifted a membership. Well, we had the big Russian triple seven, didn't we? Tippy toes, last time we were here. Yeah, that was Storm Eunice, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. Maybe some people are still trying to get it big, big jet dot shop. It's not big jet dot shop anymore. Big jet TV dot. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Why? Right, what 
what's, what, what is the actual problem? Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Here we go. Say it back then. Easy, son. 17th Mustang. Oh, easy. It's a bit low. Turfish. Wow! That was low, man. Or at least it appeared to be low. Obviously wasn't. Look at that wing flexing, man. Bosh! Nice! Is the uh, modem kicked in, GP? Oh. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's always nice to know. It's always nice to know. Obviously, uh... Yeah. All the other ones, all five popping, or...? Uh... Okay, well, you're going to get your modem on any moment now. Don't often see the... Uh... Oh, there was a... Uh... Dalek. I have to say, the hoodies are very good. The clothing in general, it's good quality. We spoke to the guys yesterday as well. Got some... Uh... Whee! This... <laughs> this... It doesn't look so, um, oh. Monsieur, I'm going to take the aircraft off. No, monsieur, I'm taking the aircraft off. Get it. Oh, monsieur, monsieur. What's that? I mean, the reason we're back here, folks, is because uh, really there is no better location for windy arrivals on 27 left. <coughs> Thank you, Russ CT, Nick Woodward, Janine Kelly. Chicky Armitage, good Wi Fi in the hotel here. Rab H, uh, 17th Mustang. Nana, Nana Bot. Good day, everybody. Hope you're doing well. You and Weech 6Y. He's got a light out, but he's got a light out. Get down the garage, son. Alfred's for a new bolt. The walk into Halfords, uh, ask at the reception, at the, at the cash counter. Uh, yes, if you go over there, you should be able to find a little book. You open the book and you should flick through it and it'll tell you which bulb you need. Go over there to a, 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 Airbus, 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 okay, Airbus A3. 18, Airbus A319, uh, dash 200, okay, I need bolt, no, uh, 1642. <laughs> Would you like us to email your receipt, sir? No, I wouldn't, thank you very much indeed, because I don't want to be on your bleeding database. Oh, we don't do any of that. Oh, no, of course you don't. You've just been told to say that.
Why would you want to go through all the rigmarole of having to email it? <laughs> when you can just print it out. <laughs> oh, easy. Oh, he's off. Is he off centre? Oh, he looks like he's been blown right off line here. Go on, son. Nice, clean American trip. Uh, Dreamliner, triple Dreamliner. Boom! Hey! That kind of always felt like that was going to happen, wasn't it? Oh, look at that. How's that for synchronicity? Oh, no. Full channel, those engines. GE's all right. For what they are. Okay, um. How's that going? How's that going? Hurrah! <laughs> okay, another dream liner. Alex Hilton, DJ Marky Mark, TCC, Barbara Pete Sterling. Uh, Alex Hilton, he flattened that. I like it. Got a new member, Ali Jones, 1987. Good day to you. Captain Calculus has very kindly donated uh, five memberships, gifted five memberships. Thank you, Captain Calculus. Kushro Alam. smooth approach. Like I say, can be a little bit uh, sketchy when you're at that altitude, as you can see there. Martin Cook uh, has gifted five Big Jet TV memberships. Thank you very much, Martin. Very kind of you. Ah, oh, Matt is a uh, returning member. Matt, good day to you. Leon Neve, Diane 78, Alexandra Wood, uh, Chiki Antich. Helen Cat, Glenn Campbell. I am the. What is it? The county, and I turn on my door. Do 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 do. And I want you on forever. <laughs> I am the lion of the county. That's Glen Campbell, isn't it? I'm sure it is. <laughs> Poor old Airbus going through some right old sticky times at the moment. Purely because they can't flip in. Easy! There you go. Jump it like it's hot. Yeah, we can't put slow mode on the chat, folks. I'm afraid not on a member stream. Yeah, can't do it on a member stream, most unfortunately. Uh, Jaden Silverman's just got, uh, Jaden's just got their star. Hello, everyone, just got my star. There we go, wow, what a thing to wake up to. Glenn Corey, uh, Deborah Speller, John Neal. Uh, tuning in from Brisbane, Australia. QF1 delayed due in 12.15. Oh, fantastic. Thank you for that. Um, do you see that, Jilly? Give me your dog. Good day to you. Uh, QF1 delayed uh, arrival, 12.15. Yeah. Oh, the lineman of the county, Kellen Way. You're not lion. 
<laughs> he is the lineman of the county. <clears throat> Thank you, Ken. Thanks, Ken! EGPX approaching 2-7 left, 2-7 left, and 2-7 left. John Neal, uh, Demi Speller, Rohit Parkal, uh, Glenn, good day to you. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday morning here in London. And of course, as you can see, we've got people from all over the world tuning in. It's a nice level for that malt. Nailed that one. Okay, we have a. Uh... Oh, look at this! Etty had 350, Jilly. Is this our first view? I don't think I've seen this before. I do not think we've seen this. This is our first view of Etty Had's 350. Wow, yeah, it is the 1000, man. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. First look on Big Jet TV. Great shame about all that kerfuffle with um, Qatar and Airbus. Real shame, man, real shame. Nobody likes to see that kind of thing going on. You know, you need to be a mediator. big surplus of these uh, variants around the world over the next 10 years as uh, the Neo family <laughs> the Lion of the County. <laughs> Martin Cook, very kindly donating, gifting five Big Jet TV memberships. Sean Cooper, beautiful plane. Uh, Darren Jones, I've been a member for one year and I'm uh, no star. I'm sure it says two years on the guy, Darren, that's right two years and you get a start trying to keep up with everything folks very difficult lots of messages coming through email Jilly working frantically it's a bit like the uh, bit like the scores on a Saturday afternoon with the football five four Rangers three oh Kilmarnock Three. <laughs> the old teleprinter. Hamilton Athletic. Two. It's like the old, uh, it's like the old uh, teleprinter, isn't it? Oh, blimey, he's a loner, isn't he? He's all right, he's all right. Or she's all right. Off to uh, easy, son. Easy, easy. We don't want you flying into a uh, into the. She's on a very low. Okay, she's descending. That's good. British Airways really pointing its nose into the wind, man. Look at that. Can sometimes see a little plume of black smoke coming out out the back of these engines, which you can as they power it up. Here we go. Gliding, man, almost gliding with those big long wings, man. Of course, everything off the ailerons there 
with the A350, the outboard um, component, wing component. And um, we have put the proposal across to Airbus, by the way, folks. To film with them live down at uh, Broughton. Or Howarden, as some people would call it. It's, uh, it's got two names to it. Um, Broughton, I think, is the is the uh, geographical region, and uh, Howarden is the actual sort of like. Anyway, um, look at that. Etihad A350 1000, and we're going to be filming wings being loaded. Whoa, that was very late. Get that swing. You ain't get the thing if you ain't got that swing. Do up, do up, do up. That is crazy, man. He really, or she really. Hello, really? Visual now. Not going to be long before we see uh, these aircraft being replaced. The start of the replacement procedure with the new. Uh, wow, they turned that Air Canada Triple Seven around quick. She only landed when I was setting up. Blimey. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, isn't that a lovely thing to say? Thank you, Randy. That's very kind of you. Um, but, but to be honest with you, Randy, a lot of that knowledge has come from you very people. Um, we all discuss things, you inform us, we inform you. Um, so it's a, great, uh, it's a great schooling of aviation that we have here. Uh, lots of learning lessons going on. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. Very kind thing to say. Seven forty-seven, Hersham John. Good day to you, Sue Pitchford, Melanie, Andrew Todd. Oh, Virgin Atlantic. Sit it down. Now look at the elevator shuddering with the the dirty airflow coming out the, those engines.
Thank you, Randy. Very kind indeed. Ken Alloway, John Walton. Uh, what a treat to be at the paddock. Thomas Wallace can't go wrong with a 787. Uh, Air Canada being towed. Yes, indeed. Thank you, EGPX. Um, that was uh, that's why I was a little bit surprised because uh, she's obviously being towed to a remote stand to await uh, a later departure. Captain Bob, Delta and Bamboo starting to now use Gatwick. Wind them up even more, mate. <laughs> oh, I bought, a, I bought, I bought a, uh, I bought, boy, I say boy, I bought a, um, a flask of coffee with me today. Oh, Captain Calculus, Calculus, good night. It's 10 p.m. here, and I've done an 11-hour shift today, so absolutely shattered. Captain Calculus, have a fantastic sleep, my friend. Um, Anthony Davis, uh, can you do come? Uh, I, I tell you what, I my dreams at the moment are just constantly filled with aeroplanes. I've got to be honest with you. Um, I had another. <laughs> I had another Anchorage dream last night. Um, whoa, easy, son, easy. Lots of brown everywhere. Um, obviously, UPS. Now, this is definitely, uh, yeah, this is uh, Lufthansa, isn't it? Got a very distinctive. Uh, engine note on climb out those uh, Pratt and Whitney engines compared to the uh, leap engine yay yay easy that's a little bit over an exaggeration of dip dipping the left wing <laughs> oh my goodness me that's when you're like sitting and you're like well, hey 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 hold on a minute <laughs> as a passenger Oh, the passengers. Kevin Milsom is a new member. Welcome, Kevin. Uh, John Grinham, 747. Hersham John. Um, when are we going to get a London Gatwick day? Well, we're working on it. Um, uh, 747, Hersham John. Um, but you can't beat London Heathrow, can you, really? I know what you're saying. Uh, we are... Did I hear... What's that? Um, Craig B, did I hear Heathrow back to full... Uh, capacity from the 30th. Well, I believe that they're dropping their uh, 100,000 a day uh, capacity limit. Um, passengers, that is, 100,000 passengers a day. This looks like uh, Swiss. No, not, not planes, no, no. 100,000 planes a day. Wow! That would be really cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah he's nailed that one or well, she has of course well done well done I am a passenger I ride through your city tonight a travel star a plane spotting good day Tom Wallace uh, Ali Jones, I live about 30 minutes away from Gatwick. I love going past on the bus. Wow, yeah, especially if you're in a top deck. I get, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, well, oh, mind you, they probably don't have double deckers down there. Oh, yeah, they do, don't they? I think they do. Okay, 767. Watch these wings flexing, folks. Got very flexy wing. This big alloy wing on the 767. At the moment, it's looking like it might be United! Oh, 
don't do fleeces. Tires, please. <laughs> That's why these things are uh, pumped up to the max 200 psi. Think about what you've got in your normal uh, road car, folks. You know, 30 psi max, really, depending on what you've got. I mean, I've got big, I've got the big off-road tires on the truck. They're only 50 psi. Um, Got to say, also, never really mentioned it, and I'll have to show you one day. But these, uh, these, uh, these tyres that I've got on the truck, uh, on the van, um, absolutely amazing. They haven't, I've had them on for two years now. Nearly two years, I, I think it is. Um, and they haven't even shown signs of any wear on them. It, tread wear, should I say. Um, and also, I went there the other day. It was at least six to eight months since I last had them checked. From 50 psi, they've gone down to 48. So, um, you know, if you can fit them on your vehicle, <laughs> which you probably can. And if you've got an off-road vehicle, it's off-road. Oh, funky shot. Ah, oh, very smooth, very smooth. Nice, very smooth. Ish. Still a big hit, got to say it. It doesn't matter that that sort of like anticipation, isn't it, of when you're uh, when you're a passenger, you're waiting for it, you're just waiting for that moment. It seems to sort of take forever. Steve Collis is a new member. Okay, we've got Delta's A339, uh, the 330 Neo, uh, in behind this uh, China. Is it Air China or China Southern? Six YK. He wants to rent a cherry picker and pretend he's working on the lamppost. Oh yeah, oh, big uh, big bulb inspection going on here. <laughs> no, no, no. We need a, another inspection, please. Island Life, tuning in from uh, New Zealand. So here we go, folks. Um, Airbus A330 900, uh, the newest variant of the. Um, I mean, some people call it the poor man's 350, but personally, I don't think so. I think because the A330 was such a successful aircraft, it does give operators the option of operating uh, another variant. Of course, Virgin Atlantic operating both the 339 and the A350. Um, going to be a very young fleet eventually. But I would say the youngest fleet. Depends on how quickly they manage to get delivery of them, but ITA or ETA. See now the... Um, see the, uh, the winglet? And the big engines are the distinctive... You could think that's a 350 from here, but look at the... Uh, is much lower, more like a dream. Nice. It's much more of a 350-esque winglet. Look at 
Ah. Oh. Very nice. Front set down. There we go. <laughs> and it's a UPS truck and all. Hey! Through your city tonight. So that Delta 339 could potentially pop taxi up in this direction. Uh, if that's the case, then uh, we'll get another look at her. It's crazy when you think two hundred pounds per square inch um, of pressure, air pressure in those tyres, and it's not just air either. It's uh, nitrogen uh, that these tyres are filled with. Um, a number of different reasons why they use nitrogen. Firstly, because it doesn't lose pressure. Um, they actually have. Uh, slow release pressure valves um, on the tires to, uh, to, to, to control uh, any um, pressure loss during the, uh, in, the, in the instance of a, um, of a heavy touchdown or, and or heavy braking procedure. But also um, it stops any moisture inside the, uh, inside the tire casing as well. Um, which of course causes corrosion and such uh, inside on, on the uh, on the hub assembly. So um, a number of reasons why, and also stops it from exploding as well. going over to the Delta, uh, sorry he's going because he, they are um, part of the uh, Virgin group aren't they, um, Delta, so. See his treetops are still um, pretty tasty, the old winds, even though I don't feel it down here on top of the tip. Wait, look, look. Tony White is a new member, welcome Tony. Professor Mark Taylor, uh, welcome back Professor Mark Taylor. Jamie Whittaker is a new member and uh, very kindly um, Professor Mark Taylor, there we go, has gifted five Big Jet TV memberships. Very kind of you, Mark, thank you very much indeed. about uh, British Airways 787-10, their latest arrival. Look how dirty she is, man.
all that bright dust and soot. A little bit of soot from the engines, of course. Always got to consider that. But um, a lot of it down to uh, brake, brake dust from the pads or from the brake assemblies. Gillian Flynn, good day to you. Tesla girl, Matthew Bentley. Uh, Fiona Addison, it's throwing it down with rain here in Stafford, West Midlands, and quite windy too. Kevin Barnett uh, on liveries was reading on flight radar that Qantas have done a retro livery on the 737, and China Airlines have a new Pokemon livery. Uh, A321neo, also a and have a Demon Slayer livery on the 777. Wow, nice. Thank you for that, Kevin. Rolls Royce power. Of course, uh, we're here today, folks. We're gathered here today to witness aviation. Oh! Wow, wow, that was a little bit sort of like, oh, for God's sake, get down, son. <laughs> um, yeah, of course, last night or yesterday, it was uh, the, the, um, the forecast was for, for pretty tasty wind conditions here in the southeast. Um, so, and with a southwesterly at that, we were hoping that uh, we were going to get some very high winds. But... At the moment, it's good enough. It's good enough. We'll take this right the way through to the switchover. Uh, so you can hang around or come back uh, whenever you fancy. 737, uh, I think. No. They're Lingus, I think. Uh, uh, wait till you see Tomorrow Land. Tomorrow Land. Uh, tomorrow Land is, uh, is that not... Um, Brussels Airlines, one of their uh, icon liveries. Matthew Bentley. Um, Big Pang Wei is a new member. Welcome, Big. Uh, great to see you here. Hope you're all well. Nitrogen increases tyre life. The speed of wearing on your tyres depends on the operating temperature of the tyres, so it could benefit uh, to your tyre if the temperature is used at high speeds and low uh, row hit. Yes, indeed. Um, that is why it's always good to make sure your tyres are. Um, at the optimal optimum pressure, um, manufacturer's pressure, but also um, the car manufacturers, really. Not so much the tyre manufacturer, the car manufacturer, or car tyre. And depends if you're carrying a load as well, obviously, if you're fully loaded, if you've got an estate car and you're carrying a, a boot load of um, bricks, then obviously you need to... Uh, get those tires pumped up but generally uh, for motorway use or highway use or whatever it is you call it um, always good to have your tires at the right uh, pressure so if you are planning a uh, long journey or uh, uh, something that's relatively high speed on the freeway or, uh, or on the motorway uh, then make sure that you get your uh, your tires at the right pressure blue dog 10 won't hurt Blue Dog, but it is a it is a a, a, a decent enough um, loading, should I say, uh, when you when you're landing on these aircraft at this when you're coming down from a height. Uh, Adele uh, Hardy, so zero chance of a blowout on landing. Um, well, kind of, unless it's. Unless it's punctured by a piece of debris, um, would be the answer to that. Oh, no. So that's someone saying about Tomorrowland livery. Crazy thing with those, uh, believe it or not, is that they are, um, they all are uh, airbrushed and not stickers on those uh, Brussels Airlines. Each individual Icon jet is all, hello, have we got, an, have we got a, um, 
gear down. Yeah, we do. Very peculiar. You've got a test flight going out there for Air India. <laughs> Crazy, man. Always looks so odd. And especially in these high winds, um, when you get up to altitude, the last thing you want is uh, a big load of undercarriage hanging down from the wing. Um, obviously, there's a wheel still spinning there. Interesting to see that they're making a right-hand turn there as opposed to the normal left-hand turn for Air India. What seven minutes, GP? OK, we've got a BA380 inbound from Dallas-Fort Worth, folks. So the reason why that aircraft has still got its undercarriage down is that there will be a faulty brake and it happens quite a lot on Dreamliners, I have to say. All electrical systems and not hydraulic. So that may be partly the reason why. So they will... Uh, usually around about two minutes uh, after departure uh, that they'll, um, they'll retract the undercarriage sun popping its head through, a little bit of blue sky. Oh. Uh, Paul Ralph, when a plane turns onto the back of the stack, how far out is it in distance and time? Paul, great question. Usually, it depends on whether or not they've got a special, you know, um, uh, uh, clearance to to to, in, uh, to to push their way in, so to speak. But usually, around about 10 miles um, is the um, is the distance as the crow flies. <laughs> will from time to time, very rarely I have to say, see an aircraft that sort of like, you know, um, pushes in between aircraft because of the spacing that's already been allotted to those aircraft. It's, a, it's, it's very uh, important that uh, these aircraft have enough spacing to allow the aircraft in front to, um, to finalise its landing procedures and, uh, and get itself off the runway. So the gear just coming down on that Dreamliner, second out. Right now. John Kay, good day to you. <laughs> See, my singing chilli, people recognise it, people recognise it, know what's going on. I mean, you know. <laughs> Especially as I said, blue sky anyway. Adam Milbank, keep the day job. Yes, sir, thank you. Leslie White, good day to you. Jeffrey Dingle. What has happened to the horses? Have you installed horse repellent on the van? No, they're just, um, they, they've had their uh, morning um, craziness when I arrived. Now, they've, uh, now they're not interested at all. Interestingly enough, absolutely zero chewing on the van today. I was quite interested with. Uh, the van, the, uh, the horses are... Um, over there. Yeah, not replaced. It will be uh, be remolds, won't they? They'll be uh, recovered remolds. Uh, right. Very interesting. When we were talking about we were talking about tyres, uh, uh, aircraft tyres, some time ago, and uh, interestingly enough, uh, I think the first people to ever create a remold was Dunlop. Uh, Dunlop tyres. Um, Got to still got to see, still see their old um, factory um, next to um, next to the the the, the, um, the overpass in on on the way through uh, Birmingham. I think it's Dunlop Dunlop Aviation Tyres, I think. Um, but yes, they are remolds. These aircraft tyres. Um, generally, are uh, when they are replaced, they are remolds.
Okay, 380 time, folks. Get ready for this. British Airways. She's fully configured, ready for landing. Island light. This is loud. Great. Uh, there we go. You and Weech in Birmingham by the M6 Dunlop Fort Retail Park. Yes, Dunlop Fort, as it's always been called. Um, lovely old building there. Thank you, Ewan. Uh, Hodgie, BA's newest G Lima Foxtrot 787-10. In the hold, 11,000 feet, six days off revenue. There we go. Um, so six days off revenue, as, as in she's been in revenue service for six days. Look at the size of this aeroplane, folks. Now, they're really having to um, face this into the wind. Huge, great big tailplane on her. Big, deep body on her as well. Um, of course, they've got that big wing to help her, but look at all that. All that weight being shifted by the winds. Doesn't matter how how careful you are, or you know how you know easy you are on the on the control column. It, just that very last sort of like little um, moment before touchdown. Uh, all that all that pressure that's building up underneath the wing as well is obviously trying to push the wing up and um, there's all sorts of sort of uh, physical things going on with the with the wing which um, which can at times catch uh, the pilots out so you have to be obviously prepared for that um, that is the key element is being prepared for any uh, literally last second I have seen that before, and in fact, Dunlop do make shoes, don't they? I think they make flip-flops or something. Flipping heck. Oh, there's another one, look. Euro wings this time. That's very rare to see. That's very, very rare to see. I don't often see that. Oh, well, gear coming up already. Wow. That was a very late gear retraction. I don't think that was a... Um... There's the Donata guys, look. There's Donata catering. So they obviously have all uh, fingers in lots and lots of pies. You guys. <laughs> Doreen Hansen, uh, gifted Big Jet TV, five memberships. Thank you very much indeed to Corey. Paul Vesey, uh, Titian Topsy, uh, Jeffrey Foddy, Paul Hawker, Anth Lee, uh, all gifted Big Jet TV memberships there um, by Doreen Hansen. Thank you, Doreen, very kind of you. Uh, Matthew Bentley, John Grinham, EGPX, Tony McCall. Donata is a wholly owned company of Emirates. So they service all the Emirates flights and others. Well, 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 I wasn't aware that it was a um, Emirates uh, owned concern. Thank you for that. 767. Oh, easy. It's great to see a 767. Look at all the flights 
surfaces. This ground spoilers desperate to come up. Look. Ground spoilers having to go. Go on, Sam. Oh, very nice. Yeah, very nice. Some aircraft have, uh, I believe, have um, auto spoilers, but um, I think most of them are wow, pumping all that hot air out the side of the engines. Look at that, man. Look at that. Wow. Oh, learning lessons. All the way up there, son. Got a great view up there, okay. Hey, hey. Tony White, I hope I do hope the caterers don't have their fingers in the pies. That's very <laughs> Still copper GP? See a perfect example of that split rudder on the triple seven there. Um, and actually, you can see it on that one there as well. Uh, wow, going up very, very quick. Another 767. Look at that crab activity there, folks. Look at that. Fernando Otabil is a new member. Welcome, Fernando. Uh, can you fly the planes, Fernando? Martin Smith, welcome back, Martin. Uh, Bernard Price, I'm sitting safe at home, but I'm still twitchy uh, with every landing in this wind. Oh, you're fine there, Bernard. Thank you very much indeed. Harry Rundell. Come on, son, bring it in, bring it in. 767, 300 with winglets. That's the one time. Okay, well, you know, there always is one. We missed that one. That was quite a hefty old landing as well. Is this, the, is this Lima Foxtrot inbound now? Okay, this is British Airways. of 767s. Okay, uh, oh, back of the stack. Um, this is this is a triple seven. So the um, 787 is after this, I think. This looks like an American triple. Big foot, heavy duty triple seven. Nice. Very well done, Captain. 
or first officer. Well, turn that uh, Max round real quick, haven't they? I think that was the first Max that we saw at London Heathrow, either that or it was Air Canada, one of the two. Such an ultra-modern aircraft in terms of technology, but such an old aeroplane in terms of its, in terms of its looks, uh, uh, especially the front, the front end, the front end, the front end. <laughs> Still a good old 737. Adrian James. Oh yeah. Well, we have exceeded where we would. But you never, you're, you're always striving, to be honest with you, Adrian. Thank you very much. He's been with us right since the beginning. How? Wow. Actually, not a documentary uh, maker, because uh, it would make quite a good documentary, wouldn't it? Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, to be honest with you, Adrian, I don't think you ever reach the... Um, because we've got so many things that every day... Uh, that we're trying to strive to be that little bit better um, is always things that we need to do but in terms of where we are in terms of our audience and our family and uh, and and the community that we have then yes we have uh, we have definitely uh, I wouldn't say reached the pinnacle but we have most definitely um, yeah exceeded our expectations but um, but um, we're very happy with the way things are. Uh, John Grinham, liking that lot livery. Uh, Darren Jones, angry looking thing, interesting. Looks like trans aero Portugal. <laughs> Oh, my arms wouldn't stand up to it. How did I manage to keep my arms holding a phone for that long, man? They were only short. They were very short, weren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this the seven, eight, ten now with British Airways? Looks like a BA-787. Okay, this is British Airways. All the aeroplanes you see on the airfield today, folks, this is the newest aircraft in their fleet. And they just let it roll in without any pomp and circumstance. Didn't make any big fun, you know, any big thing about it at all. Then he said big fun fair, fanfare. <laughs> outside, outside. Come on, girls. Look at that wing. All the flying surface is just absolutely spanking. Whoa, heavy. Um. Of course, the... Um, Saw the news last night of the uh, the very last 747. It's a freighter, 747-8F, uh, um, being wheeled out of the um, the assembly lines at uh, final assembly. I think she's uh, she's either going to or joining the final join. Uh, she's going to or coming out of 
Dash 8, the last one to roll out of that factory. And they can literally, I guess they have been packing up uh, as the aircraft has been passing through all the different segmented parts of the, um, of the assembly process. All the uh, folks packing that. I guess they're gonna... Probably gonna uh, switch that over to 777X. Uh, foul, aren't they? Gary Simpson is a new member. Welcome back, Gary. Oh, uh, well, sorry. Welcome, Gary, should I say. A330, the NEO, the NEO, um, has of course got the um, the new Trent 7000 engine, which is a very much upgraded. Very well, I say upgraded. Uh, really, to be honest with you, the internals, the the uh, the engine itself has obviously gone through some uh, s uh, significant modifications in terms of materials that they use and so on and so forth. But um, I think the uh, the main um, engine itself is um, is primarily the same. Uh, the only difference being, of course, is the fact that they've put the um, the larger uh, fan blade on it. Okay, wind picking up a little bit. Thank you, Harry. Gary Simpson is a new member. Welcome, Gary. John Brinham, not seen the A350 for a while. Is that the um, Virgin Atlantic A350? Quite a late uh, gear extension for that 380, I have to say. Mark Wakeley, good morning to you, Mark. Potentially wings starting to pick up a little bit. It's got to be BA then, isn't it? Because I think that uh, Qatar and Emirates are quite strict on their gear extension. These guys obviously dropping it quite late, purely because of the fact that they, you know, they feel comfortable in doing that. But also, um, like I say, like I said earlier on, it creates a lot of drag. It's like, you know, like I said, hanging all your washing out the back of the car. 
letting the wind catch all the sheets and blankets and pyjama bottoms and pantaloons. Bath mats. LJ and 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 sister. And his sister. 76. Matthew Bentley, please refresh your stream. Come out and then come back in. Obviously after this. Nice. Wow, big swing. So many times on the show about the uh, the braking power of the uh, of the A380, utilising uh, so much wheel braking that they didn't actually need to have reverses fitted, which is crazy. I feel a little bit peckish. Mike Banks is a new member. Welcome, Mike. Great to see you here. Uh, Russ ET, incoming Delta 767, United 767, 787 with British Airways. JetBlue 321 and 787 Dash 8 from Nashville with uh, British Airways. Thank you, Russ ET, as always. Whoa, easy. This is a 400. That's the yoke controlled center column, uh, control column on the Boeing. Uh, that, that was, it's very interesting, isn't it? When you think of sometimes, you know, I think of it a bit like, cause I used to race mountain bikes, of course. Um, and it, it, I didn't do the cross country stuff. I did, just did the downhill stuff. But uh, when you look at cross country mountain bike riders, uh, sometimes uh, you get all rounders uh, so they don't mind a bit of a climb, they don't mind a bit of a downhill section. They're very skilled in all segments of the race, of, 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 of controlling their bicycle. Um, others are a little bit sketchy, you see them all braking and slowly and all a little bit, a little bit tentative when they're, when they're uh, going on the downhill sections. Um, which, is, uh, which is kind of the same sort of thing when you look at these, um, these pilots. Some of them might be um, uh, brilliantly skilled at, at all different aspects of, of, of so many different aspects of flying. However, they are a little bit tentative when it comes to the um, the uh, 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 crosswind landings. They just sometimes are always a little bit like that. Highly skilled, don't get me wrong, and and perfectly capable in doing it, but maybe a little bit more uh, out of touch than uh, than some other pilots who who. Are, skilled in it and don't mind a little bit of challenge. Look at this. Who's that? Another 767, this one we united. This is a 300, that last one was a 400. Easy, easy, easy. As always, pointing it into the, uh, landing it wing first into the prevailing winds.
<laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, they definitely don't close their eyes and hope for the best. <laughs> TCC China Eastern 350 900 inbound 20 minutes Paul Hodgson Russell J Mank 72 Matthew Bentley uh, we've got Matthew Bentley good day is that was that Matthew Bentley who I said to refresh his okay there we go we got him now we got him he's back okay yeah sometimes it's just it's just this literally a glitch in the system Oh, Scotty! We can't stop open! Right in the 350! We did get a BA 350 not that long ago. So we got Scott Bateman, folks. There we go, Scotty, if you're listening. Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Dainty touchdowns. They got their little, uh, they got their little tutus on. <laughs> Ballerina dresses. <laughs> Good question, good question. How do pilots know how much to crab in the wind? Well, the, it is, it is a, to be honest with you, it is a feeling. It's what you get, it's what's called the feel. Um, and and, and you, you need to maintain, first of all, you need to maintain a speed. You must maintain a speed, and that's used by uh, the, the operating the throttles, of course, um, accelerating and decelerating, but also, um, in order to maintain, to keep the aircraft on course. You see, he just, he just went up a little bit of altitude there. Um, to keep the aircraft on course, you need to just point the, point the nose into the wind. Uh, and you just maintain that speed. Well, just, it's just one of those things that you feel, I'm guessing. There is no particular, um, you know, uh, mathematical equation for it, I don't think. But a good question all the same. Way across the Atlantic, this A321, folks. With JetBlue, something that we must try. There we go. The perfect example of uh, dipping the uh, dipping the left wing first, just in order to maintain, to guarantee that you're going to get the aircraft down, because it sort of like as you dip that wing, it's going to. It's going to catch the. Uh, it's going to catch any side winds, uh, and um, uh, uh, improve the efficiency of the of the of the wing as as it uh, as they land it on the left hand wheel. That's the one. I'm yet to believe anyway. Good to see all of uh, British Airways A380s now in operation. Interesting, uh, interesting what TCC is saying there. Uh, jokingly about you know they need uh, 10 tons of crab their pilots are feeling hungry they need uh, a lot of crab well interestingly enough um, fish is a very um, a, a, a commodity which is carried by these aircraft a lot depending of course where they're coming from but um, you know Norway and places like that um, lots of fish stock 
Wow, they turned that around quick, didn't they? We only saw that coming in about 20 minutes ago. Um, you know, lots of fish, crab. Um, lobsters. All sorts of different fishy, um, perishable goods that are, uh, well, I say perishable. They are perishable. It's uh, it, time, I think they call it um, time, time sensitive freight. Um, in other words, it's uber important that the, uh, the shipment arrives on time. Of course, they do have refrigerated um, loading units that they use on these aircraft sometimes. That's a very good point, actually. Somebody on Twitter, um, a DJ and uh, music producer, uh, tweeting that uh, apparently 40%. Of course, these winds are a good thing um, because the, uh, the, 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 the the winds will generate um, a significant, significant amount of energy. Uh, for, um, for, for our grid. So uh, thank you to uh, the autumnal winds here. And, um, and of course, the excitement that it brings us with these, um, we're seeing these pet pilots literally earning their, their keep today. Uh, great to see you folks. Thank you everybody for getting involved. Wonderful to see you, hope you're doing well. Of course, I'm reading out comments from my members only, as I always do. Um, just to remind you, we're going to be in Frankfurt this coming Sunday. Frankfurt. Lots of jumbo jets. 747-8 and 400s. All Lufthansa, of course. Um, as well as all the other regular international carriers and... Uh, another 767. Yeah, Qantas is inbound, folks. Let's see if we can track her on flight radar, folks. Let's get her to number one, shall we? Um, QF1. QF1 is what we're looking for on radar. Let me know where she is, folks. I want you all to tune in right now uh, to Flight Radar 24. And uh, let's track the delayed Qantas flight in. Wow! over Germany, I'd have thought, or middle of France or something. Okay, so there we go, Just heading for Nuremberg. Wow! Let's get that front end down, man. get it down. Okay, she's on the Austrian-German border, folks. Let's track her. QF1, the Qantas A380. Uh, and I'm guessing that that Dreamliner over there, I believe, uh, she's just crept into gate. She's just been uh, towed to gate. We're going to need to get rid of one of those aircraft out of there because that's her parking spot, mind you. Uh, they're probably getting at the end of that where that American Dreamliner is, I'd imagine. The back end of that 380. Look, look at the size of that uh, APU exhaust. Look. Westerly at the moment. You can see from the windsock there, it's billowing away. Hey! 
Hey! Somewhere up there, folks, on your phone, is a like button. Somewhere there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hit the cross on the right-hand side. And there it is, look. Come on, you measly lot. Only 386 likes. I've just liked it. Oh, there's 1,400 and da-de-das. Right, okay, there we go, anyway. So come on, hit that like button, folks. Hit it, hit it. Thank you, everybody uh, who has uh, hit that like button. Let me just go to live chat, go back on the live chat. Um, Kalina Kalani Ku, uh, QF1 is a 13 hour flight. Wow. She's at number three, folks. In at number three this week. Okay, pop pickers. Oh, Pratt Whitney. Easy, son. Get it down. Get it down. Get it away. There you go. <laughs> Uh, we'll no doubt see that, Jilly, because that was probably um, that is probably a, um, a, a a repair that needs to be uh, done because there have been there have been instances in the past with uh, with um, with uh, collisions. When I say collisions, nothing major, major, major. But the Iceland Air seven uh, was it seven six or seven five? Uh, 757 and a Korean 777 uh, the other week or the other day, uh, literally a couple of hours after we left uh, the uh, the courtyard. <laughs> it's bleeding typical, isn't it? But anyway, she's parked up over the other side. This is a United Dreamliner. Will do, yeah, well, you can do if, you, if you're ready. Now, uh, the question is, Julie, you just whoa, nice. So, yeah, you need to get ready. But, but the thing is that what we don't want to do is we don't want to have you fiddling, farting around. We just need it highlighted with the line, and that's it. Don't, I don't, I don't, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's all we want is just literally that shot, that, that picture of it highlighted here. No sort of sidebars or anything like that, things going on with your mouse moving and all that sort of thing. No, no, right, okay, okay. Look at all the little orgies asleep, they're having their morning nap. They're having their morning nap, look. Horses in the nursery, look. Oh, the little foals, look. Yeah. Oh, big stretch. Oh, the other one's dreaming. It's the other one dreaming. <laughs> got a new member. Uh, no, we haven't. We've got a returning member. Leapner Photography uh, with a star. Uh, Anita's done as she's told and hit the like button. Thanks, folks. Thank you for your likes. We appreciate it. We don't beg for stuff here. Um, but it is just very much appreciated if you do hit that like button. Um, it's very much appreciated. Diane 78 tracked by 1,852. Okay, folks, here we go. Um, we're going to, uh, we're going to, after this uh, 320 has touched down, we're just going to bring up the uh, a little pit to show where QF1 is at this easy very stage um okay gp let's go for hold on stand by stand by stand by just want to see how quickly they're going to get this saudi uh triple seven he's rolled it straight out from that taxiway holding point hasn't he 
Look, he's got a smile on his face, look. He's a happy chip. Give it quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of throttle, didn't they? Not hanging about. Okay, so let's have a little look where QF1 is right now, folks. Uh, we're going to quickly switch to a pip. Go for it, GP. Okay, back to the action. Back to the action, folks. So there she is. Whoa! This Neo was caught a little bit unawares there. Different wind speeds at sort of like 100 feet up. 100. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Retard. So there we go, folks, QF1 on its way. Um, we're going to get it to number one. Pot pickers. And of course, we will be doing a mega track uh, next Saturday. That's the plan. Uh, unless Airbus throw a spanner in the works or there is a uh, um, an issue with paperwork and so on and so forth. Always a good possibility of that happening with the delivery of a new aeroplane, let's face it. Um, but we will do what we can, but we do have a dual um, feed uh, for that show. We'll be live from Toulouse with myself and Rupert will be covering the arrival into London Heathrow. So you'll be able to catch everything. Is that the new, uh, is that the new um, A320 Neo with Air Lingus? Probably done about 40,000 miles already, isn't it? Easy. Maybe even more than that, I don't know. Brand spanking new, folks. No, next Saturday, that is, folks, not this coming Saturday. So Saturday week, for week. Wee, oh, here we go, another 767, 300. Is it, or is it a 321? It's 321, sorry. No, it's that A220. This is an A220. Those uh, elevators fluttering there. Wow. It's a lot of vibration and fluttering going on there with those uh, horizontal stabilizers. Pump out some serious uh, power, those, uh, those Pratt and Whitney engines or the Leap engines. Uh, these are, I think, uh, very difficult to, um, to identify. Uh, the Leap versus the Pratt & Whitney. Oh, blimey. This is low. He looks low, doesn't he? He looks low. Wow.
So our very own Scott Bateman, British Airways, saying that it's quite breezy up there. Oh, Middle East Airlines, nice. Aft drooping undercarriage. It's this uh, rear set come down first. Oh, mate, thanks, fella. Thanks, mate. Couldn't have timed that better, really. Where is she, folks? Where is she? Training for um, de-icing. So obviously they're using a, a clear solution, uh, just water at this point in time. Just training for uh, applying the um, de-icing fluid. So that'll just be water at this stage. So all the leading edges are, uh, have to be coated. Flight surfaces, mainly the wings, um, leading edge of the, uh, the vertical stabilizer, horizontal stabilizers, um, mainly all of that. Um, and some of them are across the top of the fuselage to minimize the buildup of any ice or to um, Remove ice as well. Oh, yeah, that wind's uh, picking up a little bit. Oh, easy, son. Probably hear it on the microphone, I'd imagine. Yeah, it's got some kind of a crazy sticker on it. Looks like a bit like a. Looks like a like he's bruised himself. He's fallen over in the playground. Kevin Barnett, QF1 just passing Nuremberg, closely followed by EK39, going to Birmingham. Um, Kalini, Kalani, you can really see those clamshells. You're talking about the A330 um, 700 engine there with the Safran clamshell reverser. Has it now? We've had that before, haven't we? With uh... so this is a 350. Uh, Abby Garvey, take care. Big G, uh, QF1 just passed Nuremberg, being chased by an Emirates flight to Birmingham. There we go. No Dreamliner. Sorry, did I say 350? Say, it's a bit offline there. New 787. How old is that 787? Looks very, very new. Bosh! Oh, ho ho! Oh, she's two years old, right? Okay. Obviously, just had a big wash. Nice. That's, uh, that's all the gates taken up now, I think, down there. Maybe one more left. Yeah, it's definitely uh, getting, a bit, get a bit, getting a bit more lively with the old wind here, I have to say. Even down on the ground, look. Martin Pete Emirates EK1 inbound before um, QF1. Um, oh, it's, it's advertising Puerto Rico. 
uh, Paul Hodgson say? Flight Radar says it's two years old, Holy Scar. Thank you. Holly, sorry. <laughs> Holy Scar. Holy Scar. <laughs> Holly, sorry, Holly. <laughs> Do what? Amy Francis watching from home today. Oh yes, 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 that's right, yeah. That's right, yes, yes, yes. Pete and Amy, uh, very good morning to you, watching live on uh, panel. Synchronised travel. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what Ken's talking about here. Because uh, as you know, those winds, as, you, as soon as you descend into these uh, different layers of wind speed, oh, easy, easy, son, easy. Easy. Hold it steady there. Hold it steady. Listen out for the uh, for the downwash. You can't flip in, make it up, can you? So frustrating when that happens, man. Trash panda. Yeah, it's definitely picking up, man, those winds. Yeah, they yeah. Of uh, course, some of you folks who have watched paddock shows before may be um, noticing how much more visibility I've got um, because these trees have been heavily uh, cropped uh, both here and there. Uh, normally, it would be we would be covered with leaves, obviously, and branches. I don't know what the uh, the future of these trees are is, um, whether or not they're planning to uh, take them down or. Well, they're going to leave them there and just uh, heavily crop them but um, the only two trees along the strip easy down man seriously slap that one down The Big Mac. Yeah, not 
years ago, wasn't it? Left and act, yeah. Oh, hey! Yeah, it's never a nice feeling going back up again when you're uh, when you're on board an aircraft, even if it is a very little slight hop up in the air. Yeah, I would like to say a big thank you to whoever it was that, uh, that, that, that sanctioned that tree cropping. We did think that it might have been something to do with the procession uh, for the Queen's funeral because it did pass by here. But it kind of doesn't make sense because there's other trees on the route as well. Uh, well, actually, the only ones that are outside are... Yeah, but no, they were no bigger than that, to be honest with you. And that's a fairly big old crop, that is, man. No, they've never done it here before. I've never seen them. I've never seen them do it here before. Nope, nope. In all my years. Aaron Phillips, good day to you. Um, someone tuning in from Tunbridge Wells in Kent. Wow, she's low. Looks it anyway. This is Virgin. We've seen it here before, but... Boom! Yeah! Okay, QF1 uh, is currently um, over Frankfurt, we believe. Or over the top of Frankfurt, should I say? Of course. No, I don't think so. Not in all the years that they've been here, those trees. If they, honestly, to be honest with you, if they had any issue with the ILS or anything, they were—they're they're way off of it anyway. They're way to the left of the ILS, but maybe they're. Well, I don't know. I mean, if they're going to do it, they should. They're, they're, aren't they going to chop the whole thing down? You know, they wouldn't just prune it like that. Uh, Claire Bolton, QF1, just approaching Frankfurt. Uh, Peter Holt, Captain Ron, Rohit, uh, must have been in the way of BBC cameras that tree. No, because they didn't have any... They, they Independent camera teams were here, but not uh, the, the main camera, was uh, was the helicopter, wasn't it? it was the... Island life, overgreen, overgrown trees. Is this, uh, is this Air Canada? Wow. Go on, girl. Maybe new recruits, I'd imagine. Um, they're either new recruits or they're testing the equipment out just to make sure it's uh, it's working efficiently. Oh no, it looks like that's a training, that's a learning lesson. He's got he's got a uh, yeah, he's got somebody there teaching him, isn't he? What a great thing to do. Mate. 
nice and warm in that cabin on a cold winter's day, defrosting or uh, anti-icing an aircraft. 6Y has gifted five memberships, very kind of you, 6Y. Thank you very much indeed. Five very uh, happy customers there. I guess. Another one, man. Wow. So we've had an, a, a Dreamliner, an A320, and now that Iberia A330 going out with uh, extended undercarriage after takeoff. I wonder what that's all about. It's very, uh, very rare for us to see so many aircraft with that. Um, it's not a problem. It's not a, an issue. It's obviously a technical uh, issue, but uh, very uh, likely to just be a, uh, a brake issue um, in terms of the wheel is still spinning and therefore one of the wheels is still spinning and therefore they cannot retract the undercarriage until such time as the, uh, the wheel has uh, finished its cycle of spinning. Safely down, Rossi T. Baz Alderson, Captain Ron. Um, no idea, Captain Ron, when did they pollard those trees? <laughs> uh, I've got no idea. Um, but to me, it looks like something a little bit more substantial than just your average sort of like, you know, um, whatever it is, it's called pollarding. Jane and his sister, those trees just haven't been trimmed and all that, they've been pollarded, they've been din... Uh, what? Denuded, denuded. swing yeah. so folks if uh, as we uh, do now from time to time we're tracking an aircraft on flight radar 24 if you want to join in tracking it it's QF1, Qantas uh, A380, uh, inbound from um, Australia. Uh, where is it coming in from? Perth or... Uh, no, it's the Dreamliner, isn't it? That's Sing oh, it's, oh, it's in from Singapore, is it? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, delayed uh, flight. This is another Trash Panda, Air Canada in the new livery. Michael Bennett is a new model. Welcome, Michael. Super fast BA, Aaron Phillips. Sue Freeman, it was a big swing, wasn't it? Here we go. New spinner on his number one. Same. Oh, very nicely done. Very nicely done. What's that? Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. No, they wouldn't have been able to do it in time. No, it wasn't. I don't know if it would. I'll be honest with you. I would have. I'm sure I would have noticed it watching the um, watching the uh, the procession. I would have noticed it, and uh, I didn't notice it in the procession. So I think they've been done quite recently, um, mind you. How long ago was the procession? The, 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 Uh, Duncan 038 uh, QF1 just passed Koblenz. Number three now, Diane 78. Let's get it at number one, folks. Track it on Flight Radar 24 if you've got the app. on at flight radar. Well, that's the whole reason why we did it, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, anybody got any uh, wind speed um, that I can read out on the chat right now. Matt Reed is a w returning member. Welcome back, Matt. Uh, Anthony Cotton loving the Air Canada livery. Uh, the new one, I think he means there. Five 380s due in before the 1500. First BA from IAD, 1129, Emirates EK1 at uh, 1203, Qantas um, QF1 at 1212 and Qatar QR3 at 1301 and another Emirates. Wow, another five A380s inbound, folks, before we finish off this afternoon. Um, another 318 coming in five minutes, load mid. Bosch on the ash belt. Uh, Lynn Kingholm. What's up, what? Russell. Gear down on the one at the back, and the uh, one forward of it isn't geared down yet. Obviously, uh, I'm guessing this is BA policy. Oh. I think they've uh, stopped the arguing in the flight deck now. Um, I guess it's BA policy that, um, depending on, well, a number of different parameters, I'm guessing they, uh, they can um, drop the gear a lot later than uh, normal. Uh, Maggie Kaloa Aloha saying, looks like it'll be rainy and windy with you by 1 p.m. There we go. 15 mile an hour coming in from the southwest, Sarah Deal. Thank you. Wind speed quoted as 16 knots, uh, Simon Bennett. Thank you. Wind speed 16 knots, Jordan Goff. 14 knots gusting, 24. Uh, Colin Bracker. Thank you, Colin. Uh, wow. Jason Gamble got the folks visiting today. They are loving this. Hello to Jason Gamble's folks. Michael Simpson is a new member. Um, Simon Nil, not heard anything about the interview with uh, Dave Allgood. Um, I don't know if it's made the uh, made the um, made it at all. I think they may by now they probably would have um, not run it for whatever reason. I'd imagine. something to do with the fact that we just had a conversation rather than an interview.
got a bit of a horse invasion going on here now. They're all starting to move over this way. Yes, here they are. Here they are. So we've got Matt Reed as a returning member, uh, Michael Simpson as a new member, and uh, Dal uh, Dallas Schwartz as a returning member. Uh, welcome back, Dallas. Great steam so far. Any cues? Queens today, Paul Copeland. Not that we're uh, aware of, Paul. It's a shame we didn't get Scotty um, knowing that Scotty was landing. through on your speakers folks there's your um heavily um marked brussels airlines icon jet foreverland isn't it i think it's a foreverland tomorrowland sorry Set on the engine cows. All uh, right, yeah, okay. Easy. 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 Yeah, I'd love to do that. Well, that's the whole thing. Let me do some research and find out, because that is substantial. It's like six, seven, four, sevens they use, isn't it? They use six, seven, forty sevens. Uh, Kevin Barnett, QF1, just passing near Maastricht right now. Lots of people tracking. Uh, Qantas QF1 uh, from Singapore. Uh, a delayed flight inbound to London Heathrow uh, today. She was scheduled to arrive this morning at 6.35. Uh, Bev Charles, Barry Wilkinson, uh, telling Barry Wilkinson a lot of them are EMA. Understandably so, because um, it's not too far from you know, the home bases uh, around, uh, out and uh, around Silverstone and those areas. And that'll be after the Singapore conference. Let's see, what is the next one? You 
usually Abu Dhabi, is it Abu Dhabi? No, 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 that, that's the next season, yeah. Okay, so it'll be it'll be after the 20th of November then, around about that period. Uh, yeah, most definitely we should try and see if we can do that. Well, just because we've, just because we've, you know, yeah. Bad dosh, Sir James doing. Alani Cool. Easy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Descending through this, uh, what? Bang! Oh, mate. <laughs> Some good timings going on at the moment with these trucks, man. This is why it's always a little bit of a sort of like gamble uh, when it comes to the paddock. Hey, it is what it is. going on on that 380. Wunt Binks, Wunt Binks. A380 undercarriage weight will guarantee a snooty landing. Yeah, 35 tonnes uh, to be precise, I believe. The, um, the A380 main gear uh, is uh, weighs in at 35 tonnes. It was a bit of a touch and go, wasn't it, Michael? Also, folks, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, really important that you do that in order to maximise the the the, uh, the the notifications that you get. We don't want you missing out on any shows, folks. So. Hit that subscribe button right now. And when you do also turn on your notifications. Really important that you do that. This um, is a flyby on a massive crab. HGC, I'll take the truck. Yes, in these conditions, very true indeed. Bird, wouldn't it? Flew straight across its flight path there. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. spindly, very spindly. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
Nice. See, all the, see the pitch of the props. Still, but it's it's not. It looks as if they reverse their uh, their rotation, but it isn't. It's all it is is the the camera um, frames per second are giving you that illusion. Illusion. Do -do 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 -do. Didn't do the illusion. Could it be of that? Um, but it's it is literally the pitch angle of the prop itself, which uh, which uh, makes it gives it that effect on the camera. Oh, oh, bit of a bit of a bit of an argument going on over there. Look. Oh. The dirt is gone. Wow, that's a serious amount of weight coming down on that on those mains, isn't it? That's why they're built so tough, and they don't have tons and tons of travel on the uh, on the undercarriage either. Just enough to uh, compress and take that compression, highly compressed, of course. Probably nitrogen filled gas struts, I'd imagine, um, and oil uh, in some of the uh, in some of the cylinders. I'm not sure, but uh, mainly I think that's probably uh, nitro filled gas struts. BDcom is a new member. Welcome, BDcom. Kalani, Melody. Huddersfield, Tim, I have two that are roadworthy and one yet stuck. Okay. Oh, and he apps Virgin back at Gatwick soon. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe we could go there and film that. Captain Wacky. Uh, Ross McKee, do you fly any planes? No, I don't. Um, I have been known to try my hand at simulator flying. <laughs> and a few of you would have uh, experienced that. I should try my new GoPro, Julie, shouldn't I? Flight sim with my new GoPro. Help me now. Captain Cam. Me. <laughs> oh, that was the, that was something I saw uh, today. Was um, Lynx something or other, and it was definitely, obviously, a container full of Lincolnshire um, uh, 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 vegetables. I've seen it before. And, and yeah, yeah. I think there's a little, uh, hey, look, oh, uh, uh, it's a 757, Iceland Air. Go on, the RBs. Aha! Wow, look how long she is, man! Big long 757 300. Oh, please, man, please, please, please. Get out of the way, truck, get out of the way. Easy, 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 easy. Whoa, easy. 
see the uh, vortex, the heat vortex. Wow. That's another uh, movement that you get when you're a passenger. You feel it yawing from side to side. You literally are uh, thrown left and right in your seat as they, uh, as they steer it. You know, because once it's on the runway, it's a vehicle, isn't it? So what you're reliant on is the skill of the pilot um, manipulating the rudder pedals to keep the aircraft in a straight line. And that's where you get that lurching from left to right. sip of my coffee in Kind of gone. Yeah. Look how long she is, man. I had to zoom out. Single aisle jet. She's big and long. In all this confusion. This is a 200, isn't it? Rolls-Royce powered, American Airlines probably, or is it United? done. What's that? <laughs> Road closure during live stream, brilliant. Humanity. <laughs> oh, look at him running with his mate. Look. Oh, look. Here we go. Wait for me. <laughs> look at you, did you? Look at his zoom in there. <laughs> oh, they're best of mates, those two, aren't they? Look. Eaton? <laughs> H, lovely landing, well done, pilot. Unmistakable big winglets. Oh, easy. Full crosswind now, isn't it? It's a full crosswind now. So where's QF1, folks? Keep me posted. Where is QF1 right now? Let's check out our uh, flight radar app. GP, do you want to put a uh, do you want to put up a quick uh, a pip and let's have a little look and see where she's at? Marcus K, nice crabbing shot. So there she is. Okay, 
there. She's over the channel. She is currently over the channel. Not long before she's with us, folks. Make sure you track her on Flight Rido 24. No go arounds yet, Nat. But I should easy. Whoa! man wow that's not your normal sort of like uh, procedure in terms of bringing the front wheel down look at him pumping all that hot air out the side of those engines man Yeah, normally you like to bring the front end down a little bit smoother than that, with a little bit of finesse, rather than bosh, clonk, wallop. What a video. Oh, go on, Alan. It'll be great. QF1, 21 minutes away, Mike George saying, good morning, Heidi Heffington. 6.50 a.m. where she is. Alabama Al, good day to you. Basil Sims, I miss the paddock. Good to be back. Yes, indeed. EK1, 15 minutes out now. Big G saying. Uh, Tim Bell, wing wobble. Ooh, uh, TCC. That was a big movement. <laughs> Don't quite want to know about your uh, movements this morning, thank you. Can you, can, is, is the wind, is, is, is it, can you clearly hear it on the, on the audio, on the feed? Do you? EK1 380, 13 minutes out, diesel 13, Justin Hanley. Uh, when an aircraft is being moved to and from the hangar on its own power, does a pilot have to, pre to be present? No, Justin. Um, there's nobody uh, on the flight deck. I mean, you might find that there may be a, a, a flight engineer or, sorry, a, an engineer who takes a ride with them. But generally, um, because the, uh, the tug itself is, the, is controlling the steering of the aircraft, uh, it does not need to have anybody on board. I don't think it's customary um, or regulatory, should I say, for that to be the case. But um, as far as I'm aware, very rarely see um, people on the flight deck. Sometimes you might see flight crew being um, brought in on an aircraft. Easy! Wow! And we have to get the have to get the actual uh, the actual confirmed lowdown on that from um, maybe from a tug operator. But as far as I'm aware. The, um, yeah, no idea for the reason for the delay. No idea. Okay, that's uh, QF1, folks. That's what we're tracking right now. Okay, so there we go, folks. Uh, wow, they really are turning these, these jets around quick, man. That Q8. Triple seven. We caught that landing not that long ago. Come on, Nat. Welcome to what? Oh, he's gone out years ago. Well, ages ago. Easy. Oh! Wow. Very unstable there, man. 
obviously completely in control, but just giving the impression that uh, <laughs> dipping in and out. Oh, there is somebody needed on the flight deck to release what? The parking brake. The parking brake. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm guessing there is one, isn't there? You know, like, you know. Okay. Okay, so somebody is needed on the flight deck to release slash set the parking brake. Interesting, thank you. Who was that? Who was that who said that, GP? Lisbon Spotter. Thank you, Lisbon Spotter. There is somebody needed on the, uh, on the flight deck then. Um, Sometimes I've seen uh, a lot more blustery here you can see by the trees very blustery there's the sock the wind sock wow you can hear them Poor slinger. Of course, we're hoping for uh, for all the stars to align next weekend. Not this weekend, but the weekend. With. Um, with uh, runway operations. We believe that apparently, looking at the long-term weather forecast, there is apparently a, um, a bit of an Indian summer on its way um, for sort of around about the middle of this month. So, um, we could be lucky. Sneeze. 12 16. Aiden Campbell, I think that is uh, QF1. Thank you, Aiden. Alexandra Wood, QF1, now over land. We're tracking it on flight radar, folks. I'd imagine. Oh, very nicely done. Affectionately done for the passengers. A little bit heavy on the front end, but you know we'll uh, let we'll let them get away with it, seeing as uh, based on the conditions. Yeah. Heavy on the reverses. Big Crabby 350. 
be A by the looks of it. Sorry we missed you, Scotty, this morning. I wonder if there is any... Uh... No. Bird strike that would be. <laughs> See if Scott is comparing his landing to this one. I think from memory his was very smooth. Quite a bit of rebound off that uh, port side undercarriage. But that's where they do hit that left-hand side first if they're uh, if we've got a left to right crosswind. They'll always dip that left wing in first. It's part of the training procedures. Uh, so here we go. Uh, Qantas 787 now departing. Um, that no doubt Perth um, operation, I'd imagine, is it? Oh, I say. Dude. Yes, basically. There's that sudden compression on the right hand side there. Is that the wing lifting, the, the left wing being lifted, or uh, or is it brake application maybe? You made brake application, my reputation. Snappy racers, uh, welcome, snappy racers. Sounds great. Good day to you, Snappy Racers. Uh, Mary D, good day, and off to wherever you need to get to. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, Claire Westerman, me in 70 days off to Perth on the 787-9. Wow, there we go. EK1 will follow VS142X LAX into London Heathrow, two and four minutes, QF1, 10 minutes out, Simon Bennett, thank you. Okay, folks, this is the big follow. This is what we're tracking. Uh, it's QF1. Come on, there's 6,000 odd people watching. Let's get, let's get her to number one. She deserves it. She deserves it, folks. Um, QF1 is what you're looking for on your flight radar. Um, hey, I'll tell you what is cool. Here's something that you might want to do. Uh, what is it? It's, it's, it's 3D. Uh, what's it called? It's called uh, Virtual. Augmented reality. If you're on your flight radar right now, head to AR and track her uh, coming in. And you might even see me in the field. <laughs> you definitely see the because uh, it's you can you can yeah yeah you can track it augmentedly um, or or whatever is the correct pronunciation 
with that. Um, yeah, augmented tracking. And it's kind of freaky as well because you see you see all the other aircraft in the hold. You see it. Um, you see other aircraft departing. You see other aircraft that are just on radar. You can see that. Wow! Right it on that left set. Nice. Yes, yeah, pretty crazy. We've got it at number one, folks. There she is. Okay, let's. Uh, yeah. Okay, go with it now, GP. Tuning in from a sunny Orlando, Diane 78, Bev Charles, Little Emma, uh, 1983, Dave Carrington, morning from sunny and calm Orlando. Uh, Doreen Hansen, QF1 south of Loughton. Um, Jill Blakeney, take care, all the best, off to work. Socks lively, uh, Michael Simpson saying. And there is QF1 uh, inbound right now from Singapore. Uh, Toji Pai, I think it is, Toji P. Toji P. Is that her there, GP? Is that her now? There she is on the back of the stack. There is, oh no, it's not, no, no, okay, all right, okay. That's Emirates, sorry. Uh, Ashley, our AR view, augmented view, is quite fun when you know what you're looking for. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I've watched it before and it is, it is a crazy sort of thing. You can see all the other aircraft around as well. And you can go up down and all over the place. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's 3D view or something. Whoa! Yeah, it's 3D view that I'm talking about, folks, not augmented. So 3D view is what you need to watch right now uh, for that aircraft. That's the one. Forgive me, it's not augmented. Uh, uh, yeah, augmented is good because you, it's a bit like Star Walk where you, uh, where you point your phone at the, at the, at the, at the, at the area where you want to see. Um, but, um, but 3D view is you pick your aircraft and hit 3D and then it will give you a really cool three-dimensional view of everything around you. Um, it is a fantastic thing to see. Get sharing on the feed, folks. Like the channel as well. Well, actually, so, not so much like the channel. Like this feed. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, hit that like button, folks. Um, and we would really appreciate it if you would. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, reading out comments, 6,300 people watching live right now from London Heathrow. This is the paddock. Thank you, Jaden. Indeed, that is Emirates. We're really picking up now. Wow, man. That wind really sort of like playing a big part in the whole touchdown sequence. Here we go, folks, here we go. First Emirates 380 of the day. Nick Irvine is a returning member, welcome. Third armour tanker, VET 86 to 91. Thank you for your membership, it's very kind of you. I've been watching this channel for years. Uh, good day to you, that's obviously a gifted membership. Wonderful, great to see you here. So look at the uh, look at that soot coming out the back of these engines, folks. As they are uh, powering up, ooh, slipping to the left. Got a bit of slip there. Wow, as she gets closer, here we go!
Nice. Day like this, the lucky thing is for uh, any aircraft following in the in the stack or on the glide slope, should I say, um, the, uh, the the wind will blow any any um, well most of the um, the the wake uh, out of the approaching aircraft's um, liner. And Mark Barr, Paul Hodgson, uh, Ken Alloway, Den MC, Andy, just catching half. An hour, Jerry, while on lunch break at work. Uh, going to watch replay this evening. Andy, uh, no doubt, going to just about be able to catch this uh, Qantas 380. Bertrand Deloitte. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Jeff Anderson, I'm not sure. Is that Perth bound or Darwin bound? Okay, she's on the back of the stack, folks. She is on approach. Ten miles out, fully established. Da -da. I wonder if they say good day, Heathrow. This is uh, Qantas QF1 Super Heavy. Boss. Yeah. Wow, that's just so aggressive. That swing, isn't it? Better than any flipping Strictly Come Dancing. Oh. Right, we want all trucks out of the way, please. All trucks out of the way. Thank you all. <laughs> oh, the wind's picking up. Here we go. Kevin Dunn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Robbie Whiteley, thank you very much indeed. She's uh, probably just going to, there's a little 320, is there something? Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, Bob Shalvoy, thank you very much indeed. Eve Hoskin, uh, that 380 sounded awesome on headphones. Yeah. A lot of the rushing, the, 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 the noise you hear is the air rushing through the undercarriage believe it or not. Sounds like an old steam train. Point one for that, and nine point eight five or something like that for the pirouette. Nicely done. Here we go. Here we go. There she is. There she is, folks. Okay, let's get gear down. That big old bird at the back of the stack. Look. Here come the gear. A little bit of a power up there from the uh, from the number one engine. Did you see that? Look at it. So look, now she's powering up because she's losing speed because of the undercarriage. Um, but you can see those um, plumes of smoke coming out of the engines periodically as the uh, as they try to maintain that approach speed. Now she's crabbing big style, man. saying that uh, they should uh, do a quick turnaround to get her back on track. Well, yeah, I mean, you've got a lot of folks who are sitting there waiting, aren't they? I mean, sh blimey, how old, how late is she? Six o'clock this morning. What's the time now? 12.14, flipping next six hours late. Wow. 
lot of very unhappy people on that uh, aeroplane. Who's got her on 3D at the moment? Grab this Neo. And then we're going to switch straight back to the uh, QF1. Oh, just as, just as it's, here comes the rain. See these, see these lines of uh, smoke or exhaust out the back of the aircraft as she's pitching up and down in her speeds. Look at that. And that is generally uh, the, um, that'll be the pilot controlling those throttles. Yeah, man, look at that. That's a perfect example of what we talked about. Crikey. around at this stage do you after you're six hours late Well, at least it was a London bus and not a flipping container or something like that. <laughs> Nicely down. There we go. So she's down, folks. What does that look like on 3D right now? Do you see all the runway and all that? I'm guessing you do, then. doing the rounds then. Festival of creativity. This is when you don't need to be sitting outside the gate for half an hour waiting for another aircraft to free up the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, Good job, they got that fellow with the uh, in the um, 
locked in that box before they, before you get into your gate, we got to ask you a question. We asked a hundred people. Chop it, chop it, chop it. Oh, that's late, that's late, man. That was very late, though. Probably laying it heavy on the revoices. I think they are going to hold it there and all. Oh dear. Oh, right. there we go. They're good. First one, what? No. pilots about you know simulated landings in high winds high crosswinds you cannot really you can't really simulate it because to simulate that buffeting and that wind noise and the whole you know banging of literally the whole thing's just banging away at the sides and very difficult to simulate it however you can simulate it up to a certain point and right the way through to uh, final checks and, and, and you're able to jump, well, as, as the folks at, um, at um, in order to, uh, for type ratings and stuff like that, pilots able to jump straight from, um, say it, Ed, Ed, <coughs> Uh, jump straight out of the simulator um, for instance a few of our uh, 747 pilots training for the 787 jumping straight out of the simulator onto easy onto um, a live aircraft Kind of nicely done. He dragged it on that left hand, uh, that left hand gear, before letting the right hand come down, so making sure he was happy with the, uh, or she was happy with the, um, the setup, and then slowly bring that, swing the aircraft round, and bring that right gear into touch with the uh, tarmac Adam. <laughs> Hello. What's going on here then? Nothing on approach, Gillian. Career Insincere has gifted five Big Jet TV memberships. What a wonderful thing. And um, Balfouri Town has also gifted 10 Big Jet TV memberships. A very warm welcome to everybody who's been gifted. Uh, please come in and 
give your um, give your gifty a, a big shout out. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Sarah Lecky, Jerry and the van aren't on 3D view in the paddock, unfortunately. Uh, 3D view is really cool though, isn't it just Sarah? Stuart Watson, zero go around so far, my friend. Bertrand Deloitte, see an office blue? No, you haven't seen an office. Uh, Den MC, Achim Archie, um, Darren Emerton, who is joining you this year at Halloween? Michael Myers uh, last year was awesome. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Yeah, I forgot all about Michael Myers last year. Um, there we go, Stuart Watson saying thanks, Akem. <coughs> Paul Trapeel, NL, Chris Ordway, Erin Clark, DJ Parr, Michael Weinstein, John 45305, Mighty Enid, uh, AK Grey uh, Gyrator, <coughs> excuse me, AK Gyrator, Mitch Mitchell, Neil Harrison, uh, all GIF gifted membership. I think Joe should be chasing from Friday the 13th this year, Jeff, Jeff Anderson. Um, yeah, we've got to work on that one, haven't we? Uh, who we're going to do or what we're going to do for. Uh, for um... Oh, we'll be in Boston. <coughs> Our first year away. Well, easy, son. I've got to get, get home and get. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. You've got to be a little bit careful out there, though, Jilly. You know, on the, you know, the old bill and all that. Dressing up as some mad axe murderer or something like that. Okay, uh, we have a plane spotter uh, on the left-hand side of the runway. He's got a mat. He's got an axe and he's uh, got a. Uh, uh, a suit on. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, apprehend, apprehend. Okay, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wee, wee. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Julia Kirkman, these folks gifting memberships, complete legends. Thank you very much indeed. They are uh, gifties. Please enjoy this excellent channel. You will love it. Balfouri Town saying thank you very much indeed. Indeed. Tony Austin been watching all morning and can't recall seeing any cargo planes in yet. Well, no, very true indeed, Tony, but ma the majority of cargo movements here at London Heathrow, believe it or not, is actually belly freight inside the, uh, the belly of the beast. So here we have uh, an aeroplane being um, towed. if we can spot anybody on board the flight deck there. Maybe he's just sitting at the door or something, I don't know. <clears throat> I thought that all of that could be um, could be uh, done at the uh, at the little box underneath the undercarriage at the, at the front where they where they lock the undercarriage pin in uh, place. Wow. Very dirty, some of these triple sevens, aren't they? A B 
big road. Right. Sorry we're late. <laughs> oh, those poor people. It's 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 the it's the folks that that are uh, uh, awaiting connecting flights as well. They obviously missed their connecting flight. It just it just um, you know it's it's. RC. We have had people on aircraft before who have uh, been watching. Get their Wi Fi screen up. Mind you, don't the, um, don't the operators turn the Wi Fi off um, on approach and all that? Yeah. At the moment, I've been very fortunate with the uh, the way being the way it is. Richard, that lamp post is swaying nicely. <laughs> Richard White, not dirty, call it character, yes. What's that, GP? Some news agencies call any plane a jumbo jet, don't they? Because <laughs> they don't know any better. Understand this. All they had to do was do a little bit of research, find out what aircraft you know, was operational at the time. You know, lazy son, so is it? Never mind. I reckon I'm going to get hit by rain uh, shortly, you know. Do have a hood on the hood. Just have to wait and see. Now, do have. Uh, in an emergency, is that that over there? Oh. Well done, sir or madam! New York! New York! Of course, don't forget we're off to Boston later on this month, folks. Uh, it was actually supposed to be a week on Saturday, however, due to the um, delay with the delivery of um, the new A339 by Airbus. Um, to the lease company and slash um, uh, Virgin Atlantic because most of these uh, modern jets are actually uh, leased Gusts of 35 miles an hour! Gusts of 35 
25 mile an hour, we'll have some of that. Bosh. Lovely old 767 there. Okay, here comes that rain. Any moment now. You're gonna get it. Windows secure. Hood secure. Clothing secure. New York City. You can hear that 76 winding up there. Textbook that was. That was textbook. Okay, gotta be prepared for this uh, for this preset folks. We have uh, we have some um, toweling here ready for you to wipe your eyes, mate. Dry your eyes, mate. Do, 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 do. Doreen Hansen uh, must go. Doreen, take care. I think I might miss that. Uh, three, 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 eight is due in before the switchover. Lee Hale saying so. Stay tuned, folks. We've got some big, super heavy action um, ready for you before we switch and head off. Oh. Does get wet. We get a bit of precip on that runway. We get some uh, heavy-duty reverser action. Oh, big swing, man! Big swing. A massive kick on that rudder. Keep it pointed in this direction, folks, just because of the preset. Joe Perry. Might even get some precip off these wings. What you got? What's up? Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, right, OK, it's happening, is it? Finally. OK, fair enough, fair enough. Oh. Yeah, got it down eventually, a little bit squirrely, but managed to get it down. Seven out of ten. <laughs> City. Matthew Bentley, yeah, there we go. We could indeed get wing. Michael Dugmore, really good. Jerry, use it a lot. Mark Garner's looking forward to the show in Frankfurt on Sunday. Indeed. Join us, folks. Very brave young man there, uh, walking in these conditions with the T-shirt. Uh, and that's about it. Well done to him. I think his syrup's gone flying already. Tower, really, isn't it? Or is it automated? Maybe. Maybe it is automated. Yeah, yeah very intense strobe lighting now that can be seen from miles and miles away. Um, these runway lights. Isn't that lovely? Ah, oh. isn't that lovely? See how much that's appreciated. Um. Mark Garner, anyone know when the terminal at Frankfurt is complete? <laughs> yeah, about, about another year, I would have thought. Uh, Graham Hess, good afternoon, joining in all the fun of the air at last. Um, Tim Rotunda fell asleep, Lionel Brown. Uh, how does leasing work on aircraft? Thanks, Jeff. Uh, much the same, really, as uh, as leasing on a, on a vehicle. Really, to be honest with you, it's very, very much the same as a um, as a vehicle lease contract hire, all that kind of stuff. So basically, if you, if you lease it for 10 years or however long it is, you've got to return it um, in its original condition or near as damn it as to when you got it. With, uh, with the spares as well, I believe. Because, uh, of course, uh, a lot of these lease contracts include uh, spare engines and uh, other stuff. But uh, in general, I believe that um, it is much the same. And uh, there are very lo lots of very small hoops, should I say, to jump through. Hello, what's that uh, Chinook doing over? It's over Northolt, is it? It's a holding position. behind me, right behind me. Yeah. Wow, here comes that right now. Here comes that right now. 
now. Waiting, he was waiting, wasn't he? He was waiting, I think, to cross the active. He's gonna head straight over the top of us. Oh, he's, uh, he's drifting a little bit, he's not, he's, not, he's not full power over the top. You better hurry up, mate. Get yourself going, because you've got an aircraft on approach. Out of RAF Benson, is he? Oh, he's gonna hold there, he's gonna hold there. I think yeah because we got an aircraft on approach man yeah this is a bit of an odd one it's right between the two runways here the last thing this guy needs to do is uh, is a missed approach now he needs to I think that guy's come a little bit too close, he's now turned back. Rear door open, look. It's not a big orange hands waving around in the back there. <laughs> Dice! Malcolm Clinton, I believe, has gifted um, 10 Big Jet TV memberships. Yeah, Malcolm, thank you so much. Can we hear that he's 85, is it 85 years young? Oh, he's got to get this, uh, got a bit of uh, Ryan or Brian. Brian Williams. 87 years young, 767, appearing through the mist. Boeing's in the mist. Might get some um, windscreen wiper action uh, if we're lucky. <laughs> I need to focus, zoom pretty close onto it. So I think these ones came from Malcolm Dar Smy. Mind you, we've got um, Balfour in town, of course. He gifted 10 memberships, and then Malcolm Clinton. Um, and I think it was Dar Smy, uh, J Tram, Ricky T, uh, Theo Wood, Angela Smith. Very kind of you to uh, to gift those memberships, folks. Arjun Van Vault, Alastair Blam, Ruth M, uh, Kobe Anan. Um, very kindly gifted membership by our good friend and member Malcolm Clinton. Thank you. 
don't think the wipers are going on just yet. Yes, they are. Boeing are still making the 777. Uh, they indeed are making the Boeing 777. And uh, <laughs> he's got his big Union Jack cover in the back there. Um, yes, Boeing still making the 777. Uh, predominantly the, uh, the freighter variant. Uh, I think that's the most, if you were to add up all the deliveries of, um, of both the uh, passenger versus the freighter variant, I think. Uh, mind you, it's quite a lot of seven, triple seven, three hundreds. Um, well, one, one in particular, with British Airways. So, I don't know. What's the, what's the numbers? Surely somebody is able to um, fill us in on that. Easy, easy. Bound, is it? Did you say? Sparky Lady, good day to you, Sparky Lady. Yeah, he's honking at Big Jet TV. It's the PRS guys, isn't it? Malcolm Clinton, thank you, sir. You are a, a legend, sir. Along with all the other folks, um, all, the, all the other members who are just, um, you know, such a, a loyal band of, 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 of folks, um, but a great bunch of people as well at the same time. Just, we're so lucky. We're so. I know I keep banging on about it, and I do apologise, but we are a we are a very lucky bunch of people, aren't we? Uh, to have um, such a good family community of of people. Big crap. Big drift. Keep that speed up. Holly Scarf, I saw most of it, but is some of it due to no signal? Is that today? Or Coningsby? Robert Davies tuning in from Illinois. Uh, Kushro, uh, the triple seven count is around about. Around about 1,500 aircraft, which is um, what's the um, what's the combination between freighter and uh, and passenger jet is what I'm looking for. 1,500 aircraft is that today? Uh, is that uh, this year, perhaps? Um, uh, 
uh, on train drivers uh, get drivers get an alert every six minutes and they have to respond to so train those drivers okay and alert you planes have a device like that Justin Hanley asking well Justin to be honest with you no um, and that's why they have a two-man crew uh, or two a, a two-person crew on board these aircraft because obviously uh, one keeps the other one alert um, however I have to say wasn't it you said to me the other week Julie apparently and I don't like to I don't like to repeat this kind of stuff but apparently and it's a very rare event ladies and gentlemen a very rare event where um, everything was two two pilots fell asleep sleepy now no, eyes on the flight deck and flew right over their destination Sky Airlines from Greece. I think it possibly was, mate. But yeah, the general rule of thumb is that there always has to be at least one person on the flight deck. There always is one person on the flight deck. Um, but what's that, GP? In terms of what? In terms of movement on the cockpit? or? Uh, No, I mean, uh, like, like engine manufacturers, the engines are sending data to the engine manufacturers as well continually. Um, so if there is an issue picked up anywhere, uh, that will be notified and they'll know about it before they even get to, to the destination. So if one of these engines on this aircraft was showing a very slight drop in oil pressure, for example, on one of the engines, uh, that information would have been fed back to Rolls-Royce and they will have a team ready to check this engine out on the wing See if the open was out here. Yeah, overworking start. That's overworking environment. That's not good. See those uh, speed brakes desperate to come up. Bosh! Wow. surprised that uh, that there isn't a system where the Kane has upgraded to superclass Kane thank you very much indeed um, great to see you here I think Kane was a new member today wasn't it uh, Daniel uh, do you think you'll be in Skiathos next year Daniel that is the plan we will try our very best to do a Skiathos show just this year uh, the way things fell into place it just didn't work for us but uh, we will try very hard uh, to get you, get there over next year. Um, Rab H to James Doink, Sanjama. Autopilot is very hard to stay awake. Trust me, the FMS is in command and there is very little to do but daydream and drink coffee. Autopilot, yes. Very true indeed, yeah. I can imagine there's very little to do. Um, yeah, very sort of like, you know, it's almost like sitting on a train, isn't it? And that sends you to sleep, doesn't it? Uh, obviously, you're not going to do, to, do, to, do, to do it on a flight deck, but um, you just hope to goodness that you have a good chatty uh, co-pilot or uh, or captain or whoever, uh, not someone who doesn't like the conversation. Just trying to see if we get any windscreen wiper activities. There's a bit going on there, look. Air. Now, from what I could see, it was the right-hand window that was uh, operating the windscreen wiper, um, and uh, that would indicate that the co-pilot or the first officer is bringing the aircraft in. Uh, generally, when when there is one wiper uh, active, it will uh, indicate which pilot is operating the aircraft or the flying pilot. So I think that Egypt Air will skip left and um, head to Terminal 4. Still no sign of um, what's going on um, at Terminal 4 in terms of the, uh, the new hoarding outside. 
Um, still waiting to see. I'm, it's, it's obviously the hoarding, sorry, is, is, is Qatar. Uh, very clear to see, but um, it's not uh, clear what, uh, what's going to be on that, um, on that piece of land. Get off my land! Hello there! Hello there! time yeah sit there like halfway down the runway mizzle i think it is isn't it we got mizzle you've got mizzle jan's views both on the flight deck and also, well, I'm guessing, uh, in the cabin as well. Although it's a bit of a, you know, um, it's a bit of an interesting one, that, isn't it? You know, um, the um, geezer pointed behind me. Crabbing. Look at that just appearing out of a mist, man. British Airways 350 1000 big carbon wing on it gonna hopefully see a set of these wings being loaded into a Beluga XL at Broughton in the near future folks right around mid-November wow those up Quite heavy, gotta say. And then snizzle. <laughs> snizzle me drizzle. San Sharma. Not gone foggy. It's uh it's just um very light red. Who's going to hate rain style here? Diane 78 crabbing in the mists. Uh, Heidi Heavens in the skies sure have got murky there. Yeah, it's going to get murkier. Keila Adams, why was the weather not like this in April when I visited? Uh, well, what was it like in April? Hopefully it was better than this. It's pretty blooming lousy right now. You've got to go with it. You've got to go with it, folks. Now you can see the rain crossing. Oh, that was close. Seagull. He's got nine lives. Now we've definitely got pre-sip on the runway. I'm sure the runway 
It's got a wet line on it. Mind you, I won't be able to see very much, I don't think. What we need is a 767 or an A330 now, so we get to see that full run out of the engines. Yeah, lights have just now been intensified due to visibility. I think the uh, I think the lights will <coughs> um, intensify based on visibility. is a new member. Welcome, Fred. Lovely to see you here. So, lights have intensified on the runway now. Blimey, this guy looks a bit, looks a bit offline, doesn't he? Is he off centre or...? Uh... Oh, that was a funny one, that was. Yeah, big shout out to Nats, by the way. I know we don't mention, don't mention them enough, but those uh, very hard-working folks at the um, at Nats in your control tower right now, looking after our airspace here in the UK, controlling it. Is what's making it strobe looking like a strobe, folks. Uh, stand by, I'm just going to get my jacket. Ladies and gents, just uh, oh, oh, here we go. Talk about gorilla in the mist. Watch this appearing on your screens right now. Qatar, super heavy. Wow, look at this. Yeah.
Yeah! Okay, here go the reverses. Wow. Very derated. Either that or we're just not seeing it. Sanchama, beast from the east. Ken Alloway, big, Q, Jill Perry. Uh, Stephen Bellings, weather radar is showing 0 0.25 to 0.5 millimeters an hour increase to 10 to 12 millimeters later. This, that is over the Hungerford area at the moment. Right, okay, so um, obviously uh, quite a bit of precip around that we need to bear in mind. Tony O'Reilly! Okay, let's get that cover on that bike. Okay, you'll notice that I'll be a little bit drowned out by uh, uh, because I need to put a cover over the over the mic folks so apologies if my um my voice is a little bit drowned out darren emerton gifted five big jet tv memberships thank you darren Simon, uh, Robert Hilton, Simon Shavemaker, 50 Cal IndyCar, Leon K, um, gifted membership. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, it's very kind of you, my friend. A wonderful thing that we're able to do, our members uh, are able to do. Looks like it's clearing a little bit, hopefully. Copy GP. Okay. Can uh, can the folks hear me, or uh, or have I um, dropped into a precipice? Can you hear me? Okay. Right. Fair enough. Good. Good. Okay, there we go. Just uh, just been notified that we've hit 315,000 subscribers. Um, thank you to uh, anyone there who is a subscriber, uh, whether you're new or old or what, but uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, folks. It's very important that you do. Not that, we, uh, not that we're desperate for, for subscribers or likes or anything like that, 
uh, we just like to make sure that you guys receive the notifications that you need to get in order to know that we are live. Um, that's what's most important for us, uh, is that you, uh, you continue to receive notifications. You can also download the app as well. Um, I, think, uh, I think, to be honest with you, the app is the most heavily um, uh, uploaded feature of Big Jet TV um, between shows um, when you compare, you know, uh, subscriptions versus uh, um, people that join or, or download the app. Scarf. Scarf. Lots of people downloading, downloading the app. Um, good to make sure it's just that mm, I can someone's just fired up their uh, their fireplace I can smell it open fire with uh, with wood Sensitive in your old phone. Give me water in your charger port, have you? Spoke me. Uh, Paul James, I found out yesterday that if the auto brakes are disengaged, the speed brakes do not deploy. Okay, interesting. Yes. Auto brakes, which are um, a lot of these aircraft when they land, they are auto brake. Um, wow. Forty-seven thousand people have downloaded our app, which is uh, that's pretty impressive, I have to say, since we launched it. Um, whenever it was. <laughs> That's a impress pretty impressive number. But um, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well and, and uh, whip your notifications on. Let, put that little bell on. Make sure that you um, that you get all the notifications that you're uh, that you're that you're um, entitled to because we wouldn't want you missing out on anything. Folks. Sorry, folks. Just uh, trying to trying to sort me bleeding, um, sort me bleeding um, phone out. Mm -mm. Oh, look, KLM, KLM. Looks like uh, one of their Embraers. Indeed, it is, and it's an E2 Egypt. No, it's not. Sorry, it's <laughs> British Airways with um, Bluebird. A lot of, a uh, lot of aviation companies now, um, airlines now, uh, uh, um, going with this whole sustainable aviation um, theme. Um, personally, somebody asked me the other day about um, sustainable aviation in, in terms of uh, you know um, new aircraft versus carbon offsets. And my reply to that was, well, it's quite clear that carbon offsets is just a sort of like, you know, a way of, forgive me for saying it, but carbon offsets is a way of brushing it under the carpet, isn't it? 
you could buy carbon offsets and therefore you know you, you you don't have to actually physically do anything it's a little bit it's a little bit of a cheap way out if you ask me whereas what they what are these airlines are now doing is they're uh, approaching it completely um, with 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 um, with physical um, uh, uh, changes i.e new engines slash I mean it's not so much the new aeroplanes it's more about the new engines um, their ability to fly uh, or operate with 100% sustainable aviation fuel um, and of course um, the the big issue big issue that we have is the manufacturing of sustainable aviation fuels is the is the is the stumbling block at the moment for most of these operators so um yeah just Chili was just telling me yesterday apparently ANA have got a new uh, a new livery um, it's a green tailed for their uh, SAF program uh, British Airways of course have got that, that blue um, livery which to be honest with you I think personally it should have been on a bigger aeroplane because then you then you obviously um, um, letting the world know whereas uh, on that on that 320 Neo, you're only letting the European community know about your your SAF program. I think they should have painted a um, either a 787 perhaps or a, or one of their A350s um, with um, with the Bluebird livery, as we call it, with their blue program. Um, Onward, Christian soldiers. Sorry. Where'd that come from? A bit random, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, you can sing it. You can sing it loud, can't you? With the cross of Jesus! <laughs> These guys can spit out a bit of reverse. Here we go. Let's see if we could get a slight, a very quick burst. There it is. Here it comes. Yeah. Any more trucks? Any more trucks, please? There now. What's that? <laughs> uh, Margot, uh, you may have already mentioned this today, but next Wednesday, weekend Airbus is, is auction off in pieces, auctioning off pieces of a dismantled A380. Wow, how much seats are going for? Uh, I would. Um, wow, Airbus are auctioning off pieces of. A380. So where would have that A380 have been scrapped then? That's an interesting one, isn't it? Is that one that was returned? Maybe an Air France? Sorry, I keep having to bring the camera around this way, folks. It's just because, obviously, with the um, precip on the on the uh, on the lens, it's it all, it's it all. Okay, I think I think the wit, the rain, the rain has now um, eased off. Let me just clean my glasses, see what uh, 
Oh. No, 767, 300, sorry, the old bins letting me down today. She comes, she comes! Get it down. Well, I must be in the eye of the mizzle at the moment because, uh, oh no, here it comes again. Hold on a minute. Let me put that back on. Mike Day, BA 350, five minutes out. Seventeenth Mustang, every time I tune in at 767 lands. <laughs> Is this BEA by any chance, or is that just me seeing things? Retro jet. We're going to be launching our new authentic range uh, in the next month, folks, uh, on our store. So uh, look out for that. Oh, what happened? Marching. <laughs> Sorry, folks. So I'm going to put that on there, and I'm going to put that on there so that it doesn't. Sorry about that. What's that? a 380 seat right firstly it would have to be one of the economy seats not not one of the not one of the um, first class or, or, or it'd have to be one of the, the big seats wouldn't it like the armchair type seats and not you know otherwise where are you going to put it in the right out there? a bit, bit uncomfortable to put in your lounge or something Uh, Darren Emerton thought I would share the love as I'm starting a job at Exeter Airport this month as ground crew and Big Jet TV has helped to keep my interest for aviation sky high. Welcome all new members, Darren Emerton, that's fantastic. Look at that. 
starting a job at that's, that's great keeping it in the family that's brilliant amazing uh b cal pam all the best darren um gotcha loud and clear thank you b cal pam um congratulations everybody yes indeed thank you to everybody for your wonderful um feedback as well that we get on a regular basis see the winds drop now very light winds now uh, from the southwest Scott, for my cabin tr crew training next week, I have to do my own pre-flight briefing. Hey, that's pretty cool. So I guess, Holly, you're doing that at home and, you know, pre-flight briefing. Uh, Brian Holdsworth, A380 inbound, thank you. The oldest 737 still in service was built in 1986, 17 um, Yes. Johnny C. JFK EDI Monday with tail wing flight from takeoff to landing was five hours 40 minutes 767 300. Here we go, folks. Pouring wing off of uh, uh, rain off water off her wings. I'll get there in the end. have completely dropped now we're at a very I um, mean we're still on a, we're still on crosswinds but doing a real one to prepare me for one hopefully in the future I've become cabin crew for an airline right there we go Sarah Faro um, fell asleep um, I don't know if it was dry when you fell asleep Sarah 
Mike Heffington, yes indeed. Abby Garvey still yet to see a 380 up close. When you go into a new runway in Dublin, Martin Mayer asking. Hmm, good question. Um, well, that's uh, that we, we don't know yet what the um, what the um, access to that um, uh, is. There a good spotting location for the um, for the for the uh, other runway is the big question. Um, Balfouri Town, how many four engine types are in service in current service? Well, uh, 747, um, A340, A380. Um, that's about it, really, isn't it? <laughs> that's I'm going. Really? Russell Sprout. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty murky conditions, I've got to say. Uh, pretty miserable, misly, misly conditions here at Lampen Hotel. We've still got 4,900 people uh, tuned in. A very good afternoon to you now. 1.35 here in London. Where are you from, folks? Uh, let's have a quick run through where you're tuning in from, where you're watching from, um, so that I can give you guys a shout out. Uh, Leon Fisher saying there's some horrendous rain heading your way. Oh dear, right, okay. KC 135s are indeed four engine. Um, yeah, I think it was maybe referring to non-military, but yes, of course, in the military uh, arena, um, multi-engine. Whoa! Whoa! Easy, son. Eight-engine V52. Um, four engines sitting on. Um, Two pylons on each wing. Of course, KC-135. Yes, indeed. A military variant of the, uh, the Boeing 707. She's gone. She's gone. Michael Rosso tuning in from Ontario, California. Uh, David Craig. County Meath, Island Gloucester for Egbert 21, Paisley Scotland for Thomas Tiffany, Rural Suffolk for Leslie Pike, uh, West Sussex, uh, Snappy Racers, uh, Rainy Woburn Green, not far from Heathrow, Ian Harris, uh, Wicklow Island, Clyde Bear, Aberdeenshire uh, for Abbey, Stuart uh, Siddons, Macclesfield, Ruth in Harrogate, uh, Keela Adams from Los Angeles, California, uh, Tenerife for Baz Eatwell, Random uh, Dent in Bournemouth, uh, 17th Mustang just north of Presswood, Jack Van Dix, uh, Kannapolis, North California, uh, Port Lincoln, South Australia for Deer One Gaming, um, Heidi Heffington from Richmond, Virginia, Alexandra Wood, North Yorkshire, Damp and Drizzly, uh, K Office, Newcastle, Balfoury Town, Aberystwyth, Mid Wales, uh, I, thought you, I thought you were from um, Ireland for uh, Balfour Town. Sounds like a, an Irish place, that does. Uh, sorry if I'm missing it. Houston, Texas for Richard. Um, Bormann for Tesla Girl. Wisconsin. Well, too quick, man. It's too quick. Uh, for Dallas, Texas. Maidstone in Kent uh, for Sarah. Um, uh, Gary Brown. I'm in Damp, Darlington. Jason Clayton, Chesterfield. 6Y. Ulu, Finland. Josephine. Southwest Sweden, fairly close to Gothenburg. Captain Bob, who in Rochester? Uh, Colin Harris in West Sussex. Cork, Ireland um, for Dennis Long. Sunny Cornwall, Simon Barrett, at least someone's got it. Martin Hunter, uh, County Durham. Um, Baho Jane is in Galway. Craig Winter, Scotland, India for Rohit. The Netherlands for Panaka. Uh, watching from Danoon, Scotland, Brian Clarkson. Um, they're giving me a big, uh, big um, load of uh, 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 separation here, so I can read all of these out. Wet and windy in South Brighton for Nana, Scott Shalcross, Perth, Aus Western Australia, uh, Nicholas Gray from Boston, Massachusetts, uh, Barnsley in, in South Yorkshire for Simon Smith, 
Um, Eric Lagerblade or Lagerblade, Boston, Massachusetts again, East Anglia. Um, who said tattooing? <laughs> Peter Crane from Chengdu in China. Castleford, West Yorkshire for Neil Underwood, Alan Warwick Moore, Southampton. Uh, Russy T giving us some more inbounds. Thank you, Russ. I needed that, my friend, because here is one right now. People from all around the world. Carlsbad. Bangalore. Oh, wow. And look at this big, beautiful triple set 300. There we go, folks. Starting to get some vortex off of those uh, outboard sections of those inboard flaps. Okay, so now the um, conditions have cleared up a little bit and the visibility is far better. We should get some um, runway um, action with the, um, with the engine reversers, hopefully. So we'll keep it on there and we'll uh, swing it round to there and get uh, get those BA jets on there. Tired of sunny California, Keela Adams saying. Um, seeing off this blue in a very soggy Yorkshire. Little Emma, Hastings, East Sussex. Uh, Bertrand is tuning in from Pays Basque in France. Um, did I say that? Pays Basque. Uh, Indiana for Dave Albo, Jordan Goff. Uh, loving it here in Bristol. Uh, hyphen Loch Ness, Francesca Latz saying, TCC, uh, 17th Mustang, this might take a while, I do agree with you, Annette Jenks, South East London, five minutes away, as the plane flies, um, okay, another triple set. Okay, now we're looking out for the vortex off of the, uh, off of the flap surfaces, folks, you'll see it almost um, whirly, sort of like swirling vortex. Maybe even get a bit of the wind tips as well. Just because of the moisture in the air. See the out, outboard section of those flaps. That was pretty heavy, man. Watch for the moisture being kicked up by the reverses. There it is. Lots of stuff going on underneath that plane, man. Just goes to show you, when you get wet, it, uh, or moisture, it definitely um, goes a long way to um, explain everything that's happening um, in terms of the... Uh... Okay, so now the rain stopped, the wind's picked up again. Hey! <laughs> Kathy Swift is a new member. Where are you from, Kathy? Great to see you here. Uh, sorry, folks, if I didn't get round to reaching out to you and saying and reading your comment as to where you were. Um, obviously, get distracted by the uh, by everything by everything that's going on around me. Uh, have we had any smoke from 767s today? Wayne Hart, Sean asking. Um, well, what we have had is um, good examples of power up and power down. Well, more so power up. Um, when the aircraft are on approach. H, Diane 78, Matthew Bentley, Petra W, Zwannenberg, Zwannenberg in the Netherlands. There we go. Today we hit 3,700 likes, says no one. There you go, GP. 
Wow, thank you to everybody. I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to everybody who's given us a like today. 3,700 likes, that's pretty impressive, I've got to say. Um, yeah, we don't cry out, we don't, um, we don't beg for likes or money or anything like that, folks. We're just very content with the way things are and the way that you guys uh, get involved in the way that you do. It is just a beautiful thing, is it not? Visibility, good 10 miles, I would have said. For aircraft. Oh, truck. <laughs> you can't time it any better than that, can you? Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Thanks, folks. Thank you to everyone who hit that like button. It seems like a lot of you did. What a great crew you are. Lock Lomond is amazing too. Uh, Richie Smith, best aviation channel on interweb. Thank you, Richie. Uh, seeing office uh, blue uh, telling Philip Jones that we are at the paddock and Philip Jones saying, I'm out. Um, uh, Dan's got to go back to work. Take care, Ga Dan. All the best, see you soon. Uh, Bertrand Deloy, go on, Bridget TV, you deserve it. Thank you very much indeed. Um, we're all in it together and we love it. We love it. We love it. Snodland in Kent, Logan, Brazil. Snodland. Always um, amazed me that name. Oh no, no, Norfolk is the other way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, it's been blown that way, so Norfolk's probably getting what we had a couple of hours ago, I'd imagine. <laughs> CM Office Blue Emirates 380 in 15 minutes autopilot, thank you very much indeed, that's very kind of you to say. Alan Warwick Moore. Uh, did they crop the trees so you could have a better view when you're at the paddock? Alan, we talked about this this morning. We have no idea when, why, or, well, we know how, but um, when or why those trees were, um, whatever you call them, cropped, or, um, or uh, um, there's another word for it, isn't there? Um, uh, uh, what's it called? It's geezer from Emmerdale Farm. Um, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> you laugh, but it is. Eric. Eric something or other. Oh, ho, ho! Eric Pollard, there we go. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I don't know, I don't know. They've been pollarded. Yeah. Wow, very high nose angle on that. Wow. He was swinging that one for all his life was worth. CFM 56 engines there with the uh, little clamshell reverses. Interestingly enough, more, they've got 40 clamshell reverses on there or something. Or is that, oh no, it's just a hot bikini news. Do 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 water stuff off man
<laughs> Are you having a laugh? I've got to be honest with you. When they when they when they do cut trees back like that, they don't cut them right the way back to the to, to, to the to the trunk, do they, or whatever you call it? The um the they don't cut them that far back, do they? Say so, okay. Normally, when they cut a tree back, they'll 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 they, they that's that's very rare that they do that. If they're going to do anything, they'll put it they'll, they'll cut it right down at the bottom bit. But to do the whole tree. And nothing but the tree, uh, so help me God. Um, that is that is quite um, that's quite extensive, isn't it? Does that mean that that those trees are, are destined for? Um... <laughs> and all that timber. Sorry. Up to Kosh. There we go. There we go. Kind of says it all, doesn't it? Well, that would have been that would have been a, that would have been feedback, wouldn't it? He's got a chainsaw kit that I got him for Christmas. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, first big jet for a. Epic Chainsaw Massacre, Egbert. Oh, okay, so we might see, is there a big gap, is there a big gap between this guy? Hey, look, we've got some vortex coming off the wings here, folks. Got some ribbons off the, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, this is beautiful, man, I love this shot, I love this shot. The vortex mixes with the heat from the exhaust. You can see it's a heat vortex, basically. Insane, man. What a great thing to see. Okay, I've got flashing blue light. Um, let's switch straight to these. Uh, I understand that. I've well, got flashing blue light. I don't mean the old bill. Cashier number four, please. I had that in the store the other day, someone actually said it. I had things going on, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't cashier, it was, it was something else. Check out, that was it. Oh, hello. 
So that's a four hour timer I've got. So that's right bang on for the, uh, for the, uh, for the mic. That's good. Oh, save it then. Oh, did I do five hours? Sorry, yeah, five hours. Need it 3.30 now. Not a 339 though, we need a 330 CEO. Yeah. See that vortex coming over the wing from the um, vortex generators on the engines. Oh, he's making a right old mess of that runway look. Yeah. They'll be putting them on semi-slicks in a minute, but for the time being, we're on full wets. Beautiful. I did it. The little, littlest, echoist little plane in the world for uh, for for passenger um, aircraft. That is, um, I think. Um, well, I, I don't know. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it is. But uh, look how big his tail is. around a bit if there's high winds that we could play. Your basket. Is it a false neutral then, Jilly? Is it? Is it what it's given? It's a false neutral. Oh! Now this is KLM for God's sake. I'll get it right this time. Seven thirty-seven. Okay, got some ribbons coming off her flaps. Square edges, you see. sorts of crazy anomalies going on there, isn't there? Love it. Aviation. Just remember, yeah. Right, mate. Good luck. <laughs> Lewis Aviation, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Keys from Moomoo's. Inbound from Moomoo Lab. What is? Is 
attempting Mustang. Been on one of those to Kiev. Uh, wow. Oh, there's your runway inspection right there, look. So there's obviously only one vehicle um, being um, pulled out. Must know where the uh, incident happened. Uh, looking for debris on the runway, no doubt, um, of, a, um, of a bird. Big separation now. Blooming egg! Flipping trucks, for God's sake. Oh, he struck it. Is he just doing a visual inspection? Or is he? Uh, does he know where he's headed for? Do you know where you're going to? Do you know the place the birdie landed you? Where are you going to? No. Nothing on the wrong way over. Oh, right, Jimmy, we're not going to see it, are we? Unless it's a flipping like elephant bird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is, it's a sparrow, look. Stuart Pritchard chilling in from a windy Norwich. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, have I timed someone out? Oh, that was me rag. That was me rag that did that. I'm sorry. Oh, they can hear me though, can't they? Have I just timed someone out? I do apologise, that was me. Diane, 78, sorry I accidentally timed you out. Well, I didn't, my rag did. I do apologise, Diane. <laughs> Say it, let me just have a look. Uh, seeing off this blue, 382 minutes out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've heard it first now, haven't you? Uh, Bernard Price, big boy behind this one, and here we go. Sorry, folks. Is it two minutes out? Flipping it. It's like there it is. Look at the water. K Drive just gifted five memberships. Thank you, Kristen. Kind of you. If you've been gifted a membership, please come and say thank you to your gifting. Better than giving money to us, folks. We don't want, we don't want money. We'd rather share the love, give other people the opportunity to come in and chat. Oh, easy, sir. Come on, mate, bring it in. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now this could potentially make a big mess of the runway. Knows his 380. Wow, big swing straight on the reverses. There they are.
sing Stop all that. Uh, Twiggly is a new member. Welcome. The wife's an opposite. Balfour Town. Timbo Thunder. Jeremy's to go to Starbase 4 for the first launch of the Starship with its 33 engine liftoff. Fine. Sounds interesting. Asiana 747 just flew over. Philip Jones saying. Fernando um, asking, is there any chance you could show VS005 to Miami? Uh, where is she right now, GP? Is she lined up or...? That's the only... That's the only place we would see her. Okay. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, right, not that again. No, we'll have to do that another time. <laughs> Can you hear Tut Drums, Fernando? Sorry. <laughs> right, not, no, that's all I'm doing. That's it, that's it, that's it. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Get that on again. 
so we don't get the cover um, giving a little bit of love to the old fella the phone's behaving itself today isn't it Jill? it's only, it's only cr conked out once isn't it twiggly oh is it <laughs> moisture coming off those wings. We've got the windscreen wipers on. <laughs> Diane's back, sorry Diane. That was my rag's fault. Get down, rag! Right, could be a bit of pre-sit. Here we go. It's going to take a long time to get it down. Come on, son, get it down. Jet lining up yet, GP? Oh, look! Not a little dash eight, look. Come on, son. Oh, no, 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 it's ATR. It's an ATR. Paul Wiltshire uh, saying hello to anyone returning from lunch. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Blew the simulator of this thing, it was very heavy. It felt very heavy. The control column that is. separation between these ones.
get it again. I'm going to get hit again. Is she? Okay, folks. Who was it who wanted to see her going out? Fernando! Your plane is leaving now. And da -da 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 -da. Ah. <laughs> okay, watch the gap, Fernando. There she is. Exactly, man, exactly. I mean, yeah, it's just impossible, isn't it? Impossible. Yeah, I know, I know, but you'd have to go through every show, every show with a fine tooth comb, literally. Hundred and one party classics. St. Jam, ETD 25 up Dubby, now 30 minutes out. Choose Italy livery, right, okay. Rav H, well, the bloody Wurzels did it. <laughs> they did, they did. No, that was one of their songs. No, but they must have done other, you know, like covered other hits or something. But all in the sound of that like back there is tight right there. that was mate disappearing in his own spray yeah that was pretty gnarly that was man that was almost like a, a, a very late sort of um, that was like a very late um, I've got a <laughs> wow okay now we've got it now we've got the rain folks now I'm going to get wet Was something in the air that night. The stars were bright. Fernando. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Wow, 
the likes have gone up, folks. Thank you. Really, really do appreciate it. 4,130 of them. Appearing from the mist now. Look at the warp, warp pouring off the wings, man. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, it's a bit windy up there. Yeah. Look at the warp pouring off the wings, man. Look at it. Wow, are we actually going to see this thing land or not? Oh my word, I'm not going to see it land. It's just hammering down with rain, mate. Yeah, 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 we're not going to see it. <laughs> it's just real rain now, man. You know what is crazy is, the, is it's warm. The rain is warm. It's like, it's like tepid water being, you know, like the tap's on and it's a little bit tepid. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? I'm getting absolutely hammered here, man. Okay, this is what we do for you folks, man. It's warm, the water is warm, I say. Okay, so we're only going to see them over the top of us now for the time being. So. I've got my waterproof socks on. I've got my waterproof pants on. <laughs> They're rubber, you know. Not a big, big on the approach, will really. Sorry, can't read your comments at the moment. This one here. Yeah, the one before was pretty gnarly though. Oh, just about seeing it touch down there. <laughs> Hello there. Well, I mean, um, low visibility approach, low vis approach, but believe it or not, these guys and girls can see the runway before we see them uh, because of the uh, high intensity strobe lighting that they have on the runways now. And interestingly enough, speaking to one of the engineers a while back about those runway lights, um, uh, because they are, um, they're, they're, uh, they're a pain in the backside to replace now in the winter um, because um, because obviously you know um, no, hold on a minute what was the reason why it uh, what was the reason I think you lost the lost lost my 
train of thought on that one. Um, it's about the strobe lighting on the runway, on the taxiways and all that kind of stuff, and the replacement of said um, lighting, um, or maintaining of said lighting, should I say. Um, quite an interesting subject. Uh, so why, was it, why would it be uh, why would it be problematic, more problematic in the winter? So the way the ice on. Oh yeah, well of course, I mean, yeah, yeah that kind of makes sense in any kind of thing like that, yeah. Look at the hole that it's... Look at, look at the tr look at the, um, the wake that it's left, man. Can you see the wake? The wake. So right up to, well, I mean, less than, you know, 100 feet they can do auto right right the way through to, I mean, I've been, I've been, and I'm guessing quite a few of you folks have been on uh, small aircraft when you're sitting anywhere near the front, even halfway through the aircraft, you can hear the bloop, 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 bloop as the autopilot comes off. Um, and that is sometimes, you know, very close to the, um, to, 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 to landing, very, not very far off from when we're actually landing. So, you know, um, these guys and girls are quite happy to let the aircraft fly itself right down to the point of around about, you know, 200 feet, something like that. And then, um, and then obviously switch to manual control, um, controlling the aircraft down. Because I'm guessing really in a way they want to, um, they would rather have a manually operated landing on their uh, on their logbook than a uh, than an auto land. Oh wow, look at that. You see those lights just bursting through the cloud there, man. Kind of gives it away that it should be a Neo only because of the um, because of the high intensity uh, landing lights, those strobe lights, which are quite common now, but they are now fitting them to CEO jets. Um, This looks like a Neo. Scandinavian. Inbound. I'll tell you what I might do though, Jimmy. I might just, uh, for the sake of, for the for the love of aviation, <laughs> I might just, uh, I might just. Uh, Oh, okay. 30 minutes left to the switch around. No, 
I was just going to say, um, if the wet continues, get up. Let's get up. We've got, we've got a much clearer shot now, actually, with the... Uh, Look at that, look at that, using the elevators, man. Nicely done, man, nicely done. Wagging it down, yeah, that's a nicely controlled landing. That would have been smooth like butter. Wow, and now it just makes a complete mess of the runway. show folks is going to be live from Frankfurt traveling on Saturday um, we're going to be live on Sunday two hours free view as, as we already say and then uh, all members but all member only chat right the way through the whole show Seven is a stick of butter, Charles D. Say a knob of butter, I think we call it here, don't we? A knob of butter. Got a, uh, got a uh, stack forming now as well. Looking like rain at Knock Hill on Sunday. Frankfurt is looking good now, Rab H. Hill being that uh, crazy, relatively short race circuit all the way up in deepest Scotland. Been there, been to that track. Anchorage, brilliant. Which which livery, Jilly? Oh, the Condor Jet Air, yes. Deck Air. And of course, don't, we're gonna, don't forget we're going to be at Toulouse the following weekend. Hopefully, he says. Um, for the... Um, for the A339 with Virgin Atlantic, where we will maybe see um, a Condor 339. Um, or has that been has that been released? Has that, has that been delivered? That 339 the Condor. Guinea Pig. Wee wee wee. New member. Welcome, Guinea Pig. Oh, it's engine 
sinless. What is what? Yeah, it's only it's only, it's only, it's only does the transatlantic stuff. I mean, uh, Virgin are a long haul operator. Um, not a short haul operator. Wow, winds are picked right up, man. Wind direction has changed as well. Flipping heck. You're feeling that, folks, but uh, you're hearing it. Yeah, yeah. Look, the um, look at the sock. Look at that sock. Look at it now. Look at it. Eddie Waring. That is it. A banana rated Sorry. <laughs> Eddie Waring. Ray Gorman, yes, Boston is still happening. Uh, end of this month. Already got... Uh... Lining up for uh, two seven left departure. Blimey, he's early, isn't he? I was going to say, there's no way he's going to. Oh no, he's going the other way. Sorry. Say, it's looking at like 20 minutes to go yet. Yeah? Direct, almost a direct westerly now, isn't it? A little bit of south westerly built into it, but. to your home place, uh, Matthew. Louisville.
goose shearer, as in cheek up. Goose shearer. Happy goose shearer to all our Indian friends. Spreading the goose shearer around the world. Very smart, liking the old livery. Oh, that white's gone right through these waterproofs. It's supposed to be like, you know, the most waterproofy waterproofs ever. Do. In terms of ownership, I think they control London Heathrow, but they don't own it. I think it's, um, it's, uh, oh, I should know this. I do know it, but I'm just, um, I've got, um, you wait for uh, 15 minutes now. There must be another aircraft that's uh, either uh, about to cross his path or I can't see anything at the moment but uh, 15 minutes sitting there waiting to, to depart. So. Fair old time. Yeah. Odette Hull just popped up. Good to see you. Odette by CT by Pink. Paul MK. Good afternoon to you, Philip Jones. I think it's owned by Chinese Consortium. Just, um, it's, uh, AIG group, isn't it? Is it AIG group? Oh no, that's British Airways, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, be it British Airports authorities are obviously a management. They're obviously part of the management. The management. Oh, he throw airport holdings. Yeah, okay. Ha. Ha ha. Ha. There we go. Oh, okay. So it's Heathrow Airport Holdings Limited. So it's just changed its name and new air management company or whatever it is. Um, I mean, it is basically like running a uh, um, a small, well, a, 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 a half decent sized town, isn't it? Really, uh, an international airport. Italia. a consortium then. 
Oh no, don't start raining again. Give me a break, man. Give me a break. Just, you know, we've had enough of that for now, thanks. And there is one for all our Indian friends. I think that, uh, I think that uh, may be a big line. Is there a big queue over at, uh, at the Northern Runway, Jilly? Well, that may mean, that may mean, be the reason why that um, Air Canada tripled. No, 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 he's just come out. He's just come out. Well, I know. Yeah, but they might turn right at the top, Jilly. They might turn right at the top. Uh, Simon Jeffries, Heathrow Airport, holding his own by FGP Top Co Limited. Shannon Lonergan. That plane had the zip. <laughs> Guinea pig. Real name is Shaz. If you want to call us, if you want us to call you Shaz, um, Guinea pig, then you'll need to change your YouTube name because otherwise I won't remember. Your name is Shaz, unfortunately. So um, we'll call you Guinea pig from now on. But nice to meet you, Shaz. And very warm welcome to you. Uh, Nico saying flight radar appears to be down, Jilly. Uh, oh, the reports coming in, maybe a refresh. First in the queue. No, man, no, 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 he's just lining up now. No, he's just lining up. Yeah, yeah, that must be. Yeah, radar's got a glitch then. Yeah. No. Ten minutes left. Sorry, folks. Didn't want to do a quick flick like that, but don't often get vortex off of uh, the narrow body jets like this. that if somebody offers me to do something aviation related I, 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 I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to do it because if, unless I can do it live like we've done with the simulator with Virgin Atlantic and so on to get a ride in a plane I, I want to whatever anything that I do I want to share with the audience you know I want to do it I want to share it with the audience as it happens not really that keen on sort of like filming something and then recording it and then
going up for the uh, northern runway as well. face look yeah front of the queue and the west jet there you go and the west jet chili yeah 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 they're all lining up they're all lining up for departure god bar emirates going right interesting Less tyre smoke when you uh, when you have water on run wear um, because obviously uh, tyre smoke is caused by heat and friction between the rubber and the surface of the runway. Um, so the water. Oi, who's out there now? Oman or Gulf Air or something or it's Gulf Air isn't it? It is in the retro scheme as well. Nice. I say it's waterproof, but it's just um, a very, uh, very efficient headset. Well, no, it's not in water resistant. I mean, obviously, it's, it's meant for offices. I don't say uh, compatible with your shower. It's starting to line up now, this end. Look.
things like that happen all the time, man. Yeah, I think it's disrespectful to the uh, to the to the to the um, yeah, to the family, and uh, you know, it's all safe. Shame it's not a tri star, but that'll do. then lad one more after this okay folks uh, for those people who are not familiar with what happens here at London Heathrow every day when they are on operations on their westerlies um, on these operations they switch runway operations at 3 p.m. every day 1500 hours um, as you can hear and see we have a number of jets already lined up ready to go and the, finally there's your Gulf Air 70 anniversary jet the last one in Delta A330 Perhaps maybe some some wing tip vortex. I don't know. No, maybe. RCT Gulf Air looks nice, does doesn't it? to everybody oh, again for the likes thank you to everybody who has uh, gifted membership we've thoroughly making that to uh, making that mess just have a look and see what this triple seven does to the uh, to the moisture of them the run there oh 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 right okay Sorry, folks, that was YouTube. There she goes, there she goes. Wow! Look at that, man, look at that. Wow! That's insane. Straight out the lamppost. <laughs> right, well. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be 20 minutes. At least another 20 minutes. 
Yeah, man, yeah, that 380 is, uh, he's one, two, three, four, five, five chips out, is it, is it, is it, yeah, yeah, and there's a few other tiddlers that are going to be, uh, taxiing out in front of them, I think. That was just insane, that, uh, the power from that 777, man, was just, was just insane, man. Right, folks. Hey, listen. Thanks for your company. Um, really appreciate it. Thanks for um, staying with me during the feed. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you uh, to again to anybody who has gifted membership. That is very, very kind of you. Um, and please, like I say, like I always say, please don't feel in any way um, uh, 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 pressured into thinking that oh, I've got to give a, I've got to um, uh, um, gift a membership. You haven't. It is just very, very fortunate that some people are able to do it and we really appreciate that from the bottom of our hearts just so that we can keep this whole community, this whole channel going. Of course, our wonderful members who support us. Um, really, we are very um, grateful to you. Um, and that allows us to do what we say on the tin. I was just looking yesterday at the amount of shows that we've done overseas with our members this year. And it, it is just wonderful that, and, and even that, Adding on to that, the fact that um, the uh, the members are more than happy for us to uh, um, uh, 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 show the world where we are um, when we're overseas by giving them a couple of hours of free view. So we really do appreciate that as well. It's great to have you all on board. Um, please uh, keep giving us the feedback. We really appreciate that. And we will keep doing what we can do as best as we can do for you guys. Uh, so thank you everybody, look after yourselves, enjoy the rest of your week, we will be in Frankfurt on Sunday, uh, unless we are going to be doing something else, uh, but we'll obviously always let you know. Thank you Jilly, of course, the wonderful Jilly, um, and thank you also um, to uh, everybody else who's involved in the channel as well, and a big shout out to Rupert as well who's going to be helping us with the Neo delivery with Virgin Atlantic uh, next, not this, but the following Saturday um, and that is all based on on whether or not it's going to happen folks uh, because we're talking about an aeroplane delivery here and it can uh, run into delays it's already been delayed by over a week um, so um, so who knows what might happen uh, but we'll obviously keep you uh, um, on, 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 on the down low with that one uh, please make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, thank you to everybody who's given us a like today. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, make sure you subscribe, folks, because uh, that's the way that you get your notifications and also you can download the app as well. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, London Heathrow. And uh, we will see you at the weekend. Take care. Cheers, bye-bye.